Hey, everybody, what's happening? That's cool. Welcome to Pat's stream of Obsidian's The Outer Worlds. Out like four months early. I can't believe it. It was just there on my download list. Hey, wait a second. That's... Ooh. You similarly named video games. How dare you? Both games people are mad are exclusive to the Epic Store. Both of them. Isn't that crazy? Oh my goodness. I will wake up, thank you. Ooh, space. Oh. Wait, why was I... I'm an alien. I'm a gross alien. Okay. Hey, Slate. There's our... Oh, what a weirdo. Back from pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. Since launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. And suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get off this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You sure you fixed those rockets? That was only the, a problem one time. And maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Ugh. I did it. I eat it. Oh, perfect. How's the ship looking? Might get a kick out of this. I've repurposed a spare oxygen tank to be used as an extra combustion chamber. Is that safe? Probably. How safe would you say it is? Perfect 10, unless you're factoring in pilot error, in which case it's about a 4. No offense. What's my mission again? Hey, you're the pilot. You tell me. Aren't you pilot types all eager to get up there and explore for yourselves? Doesn't matter if you go to the moon or Brittle Hollow, which is the other side of Timber Hearth. It's the same to me. Get out there and have fun. Just don't hurt the ship, that's all I ask. What else should I do before I lift off? If you have any goodbyes to say, say them now. Goss is a zero G refreshing on making ship repairs. Okay. Off we go. Nailed it! Oh, hey. Hey, Mika. What a landing! I guess that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? That's right. Whoa! It's already nighttime! God damn! Ow. Okay, that's pretty funny. So this game has permadeath, huh? Okay. That's interesting. So there's the observatory. Break my legs. Postcards for more? Satellite camera, huh? This projector is linked to our sky shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting the timber hearth. Satellites equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can't take a snapshot of the village. Oh, weird. Oh. I see. So...
it's it's passing overhead. Is that it? That's us. Tell me about the instruments. Made all their instruments, you know. Let's see, there's Chet's drums, Rubik's banjo, and Gabro's flute. Feldspar's harmonica, of course. The Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Seems like just yesterday we were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be from one of the space program's other travelers. If you like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. What does that mean? Hmm. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. Strange and impossibly cold substance that's invisible to the naked eye. Good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself. Oh. It's fart gas. Got it. Oh, that is a big... Wait, that sun is actually really... small. And close! One repaired fake-ass satellite coming up. In the Zero-G cave. This seems like there's a lot of localized phenomenon. Oh, that's cool. Suit up. Oh wow, this thing's a piece of shit. Wait, is this actually zero G? Oh. Okay. So, I don't know why, but that just filled me with like, big dread. This is a pretty fucking fascinating start. By the way, somebody said that they guaranteed that I would suffocate on stream. I already did. Markably intact statue carved with the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system. The statue provides us with our most detailed look at yet the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Of the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet, we still have no idea where the species came from, or what happened to them. Interesting. No, my writing was essential to deciphering their language. Although the text is linear, they often branch off from a central point. Each branch tends to be written by a different author. Okay. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have been finished construction. She says calibrating the device won't take long. Unfortunately, the Adol Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Well, this is cool. What were they born here? Or were they born among the stars and planets? These are just some of the questions that we want our big nerds to figure out. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin. It seems to create local gravity distortion. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do I get off? Oh, that's weird. Anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. That is evil. Balls, huh? Balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what causes the motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the outer rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on me right now. 
Man, the gravity- this thing is really, really nearby. Like, the scale of these planets is extremely small. What the f- There's Brittle Hollow. Okay, that's crazy. Holy shit. What the fuck is this? Strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to re react to conscious observation. Be some kind of illusion at play, but Gabber complains that rock exists in all possible states until it's observed. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate uh, agree. That Schrodinger's rock, huh? It's a quantum rock. It's a whole rock that exists in a quantum state. I don't like that. I don't like that, not even a little. Well, looks like all that's left to send you off. After all, it's a fine day for launch. I'm ready to g die in space! It recorded me. That was a fast forward to everything that I've done. I don't know if it was a save point, but that seems like it would make sense. This is a pretty fucking charming game so far. Launch codes. Beep boop beep boop beep 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 boop boop boop. I notice they've been very careful not to give me any, uh, high viewing areas. Like, nothing that I could see from, like, a high vantage point. Wait. Oh my god! This planet is so small, I can see the curve by moving forward. This is a weird planet size. Mario Galaxy, it's so small, it's hilarious. Um, every other game ever, it's big enough that you don't feel it. I should have known from the Star Drift. That is really close. Accelerated time, got it. Oh, I like this. It's made out of wood! Come on! Let's check the log. Entries. One and only Harthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on the planet. Now my statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. Saw glowing lights. House of the statue has never opened its eyes. CRG cave. Find in rumor Whoa. mode. Cool. Let's do it. What the fuck is the interloper doing on that kind of orbit?
Oh, I gotta break gravity. Oh my god. This is the smallest solar system ever. Wait, the sun's only... The sun's only 10 kilometers away? Is the sun moving? Did I just die? Well, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep. That's a negative on being deceased. You now it's tradition to sleep out under the stars. But if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. But I kept the codes. Oh, hold up. You're gonna want the launch codes from the observatory first. I already got them, remember? If you got the codes, I'm not going to stop you. Okay. Yeah, this this appears like Majora's Mask rules. I just want to see what will happen. I want to see what will happen. <sighs> That's not the same trajectory it launched in before what is that that's not the Adel rock what the fuck is that perfectly smooth. What the? What? What the f It's a quantum moon? 
no, 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 what? Oh no! 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 Is this fine? I guess, I guess it is. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? May need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Anona and I built as it was stranded on the Ember Twin, built a quantum moon locator there. The heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I recommend building on that planet. Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building that has the proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Konoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially in a child born so long after the crash. I'll be in construction on the Brittle Hall's South Pole immediately. There's a quantum moon locator on the southern... Trees detected. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. So upstairs testing the eye signal and in here and follow the signals from the sun's giant steep and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. I see. Most likely to calibrate the locator incorrectly and prove it my apprentice will make adjustments and try again. As a curious result, it's possible that I has stopped calling out its signal. The eye. Just Appointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to pause at this, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the Eye of the Universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Our search for the Eye is what brought us our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. The Eye of the fucking Universe. That's cool. So... Huh. That's the eye locator. This locates the sun. This locates the gas planet. This locates... Whatever the fuck that is.
This tree is providing enough oxygen for the whole planet. That's 50% through its life. I'm literally watching it supernova right now. Fuck. Some rock, huh? Oh, wow. Oh, that's really far. 66 meters, huh? That's that fucking... That's the quantum moon! That's what I've been looking up at. Hey man. Hey Hatchling, thought you were off that tin can of yours. Space Day, what are you still doing here? Saw something that crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures of my little scout. Is that a dark bramble seed? Think so? It's like nothing I've seen on Timber Hearth. Probably onto something. What? Duplicates? It's non-Euclidean, at the very least. Why would it have a duplicate signal? Wait. Because it's... Okay, that's a portal. That's a portal. Is that a landing pad? Uh. 
Oh, yeah. This game is unbelievable. This game is is this this is this is the mo this is the most my jam of any This is a good game. This is a high quality video game. Still amazed by how much the or the Ash Twin project requires. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers building built on Ash Twin? The towers I've seen are surprisingly big. No, the material from those towers is all by being taken by the, yeah, from the Ash Twin. The ore we're currently mining will be used to create a protective shell that will seal off the Ash Twin's core. I'm relieved by Clan's decision to use Timber Hearth's ore for construction in the shell only. If eventually life on this planet were evolved to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. All of this ore is just for the shell? I hope they measure the shield's area plan accordingly. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. How else would he improve? There's a shell around the ash twin. Whatever the fuck that is. What? What? Wait, what? What just happened? Let's take a look at you. You. What the fuck are you? It's a clock. That's a clock. And it's counting down until the fucking... Okay. Yeah, that's a clock. It's a clock. That's a clock for sure. There's that. Oh yeah, that's blowing up. Unidentified spot there, but I couldn't. Oh, I landed by accident. Ah, crap. No, I want a better view of it. Does this mean... I have more time. No, don't return to the solar system! 
Don't return to the solar system. What is that? Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <sighs> Fuck. Good enough. Ah. What are you? Why did you blow up? And why do I see you blow up every time? Oh, that reverses gravity. Got it. Okay. Launch module projection. Giant steep projection. There you are, you fuck. Immediately disappeared. Alright. Give me launch module. Information. What's the launch module for? Better 50%. Cassava sending the last of the cannon components soon. We'll know the mine's eyes per cease precise location. The construction yard crew have determined a power setting. We are not under any circumstances to go above. Am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can pause it with nearly 100% certainty. Our friends have accounted for our nature, so I suggest we do. Given the orbital probe cannon, all the power can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye in the universe. As the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can, we'll make some adjustments. The thought of concluding our elder's curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. This thing's turning on on every loop. in different directions. <sighs> Wait, what? Wait a second. Was that a different point in time? As long as I don't... It's the other room. Oh. I guess you're not a clock after all. Oh, you mean this thing. Oh! So that, whatever that is, 
controls it. Oh, that's what that is. 11 minutes, 15 seconds ago. Request launch from Ash Twin. Can align with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. It changes every time. And it fires the probe out randomly. It fires it out so hard that it explodes. Begin launch. Launch success. Probe tracking module is receiving data. Orbital probe cannon structure fucked up. It exploded. Damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Control modules intact. Launch module, viewport, window fractured, module exposed to the vacuum of space. Probe tracking module is missing. Oh no. Where's my ship? Oh my god, it's on the other side of the planet. Might as well crash in the. Oof. Oh, you know what? You know what? Whoa! Oh. Oh, come on! a lot there. I need to try and get that landing pod. Yep, fires off. I have a big idea. Are you serious? <gasps> Got it! Oh, it's not on the map! That's moving way too fast. All right. Aligning flight trajectory, returning to the solar system. Oopsie. Some kind of explosion happening on the surface. We only need to fire the probe once. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Where is this? It's 
brightly lit. It's... This should project me to the location I have been already, which is this one. Wait. I can see the outside through this. So why can't I see the outside through this? In fact, it's all electrical distortion. That's the outside. It's electrical distortion and something. Of course, the biggest planet has... Okay. Okay. Got it. Fuck is that? Okay, well, somebody's here. Hey, Gabbro. Good to see you made it in one piece. So launch this doozy. Don't freak out, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. Oh, it's not just me! What about you? Have you died lately? Nah, it's me. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. You're taking this pretty well. Yeah, back at you. Personally, I like new experiences, and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. Looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another one weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop replay back to me. Pretty sure that's related to this big stone Nomai statue. I found him on one of the other islands! I was looking at it, the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I see them through my own eyes. It's like what happens each time I die. That happens with me, a statue in the museum! You too, huh? The no my statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's gonna be my leading theory, but if you find anything new, let me know. I'll be here. Anyway, that's what's new with me. But hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. What? Let's talk about you. How's space treating you? I found something. I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. The cannon's is breaking apart at the start of the loop. For real? Too much power. No. Over enthusiasm. There were three glowing statues. Now it's scary how much that sounds like something Slater Felspar would do. I'm pretty surprised to know my built something that actually broke. The thing of it though, broke might be the wrong word because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of every loop. You ever watched Cyclones for so long and started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, it put you in a trance you stare at long enough. What are you doing out here? What are any of us doing out here, really? Just kidding. I'm out here exploring the solar system. I'll tell you what, outer space gives you time to think. It's quite peaceful. 
I mean, it's usually quite peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise coming out of the water. Then, less peaceful. My ship still landed. Okay. Where should I explore with our giant's deep? At the start of every loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening in orbit around the planet. Oh, I liked it. It's got different little pieces that point to certain things. Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. That's the statue where I found the glowing gnome my statue. I was on the beach on Statue Island, the whole glowy business happening, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. Solid up. It's 10, 7 out of 10 on the Gabba scale. Can you check it out? It's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. What's up with this planet? I know, right? Oh, you meant like, tell me more about it? Giant steep is massive and mostly water. There's a big strong current waves beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Tried everything I could think of to get past that current, and now their idea worked. And masses, there's four islands. It's also one with a no my statue. See the cyclones? They toss up everything in their path, islands included. You get picked up, try to land in water. That's likely to kill you. Where's your ship? That's a good question. Definitely on the planet somewhere. I mean, unless the cyclone came by and tossed it in space. That'd be pretty nuts. I hope it's not. Let's hit these islands, son! Oh my god, was that one of the islands? What the fuck is that? You know? not like that. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh yeah, I'm dead. Oh, let's see what it looks like from the sky. there'd be shit down here. Aha! I 
After closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe from the native life dwelling in some of this cave's pools. So unfortunately, we'll have to mine one of the other sites. This sounds promising. Will you and your mentor investigate if mining site 2B proves safe for this native species? We'll move over there. On the opposite hand, new life. The species is semi-aquatic. They're talking about us. And very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious to the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. Site 2B is safe. Coley says we'll continue to monitor our activity and its effect on life there. I was watching them once during rest, and the hours escape from me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. There the fuck. There it is. They remind me of subterranean species that my mentor, Malari, once told me about. I'm not planning to travel past the universe. I imagine she would have enjoyed these life forms greatly. So this is them finding us. <gasps> no! Oh, wow! Just give it a minute. Fuck yeah! Oh, shit. Landed. <gasps> I've been here. This is where the projection pool put me. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around the ship. For assembly. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe the cannon men actually succeed where many other attempts have not. If I know my brother Evans and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon will fucking explode if this happens. I propose we give Evans and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting from than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Well, I didn't work. Are you going gelatinous, Thomas Love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Evans behave together, Dads, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. This is the kind of game that I feel there's a location I could just go to from the very start of the game and win. Bad news. Yaro says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so it won't be asked to fire. Hope you're pulling my locomotive limb. Probe cannons on hiatus. They should return from the cannon. I'll remain at the construction yard. That's the same thing I got before. What if I project it, though? This is where I was before! Brittle Hollow. I haven't seen anything about Brittle Hollow yet. I don't understand what I'm looking at. It's... Tornado creation? Brittle Hollow's creating the tornadoes. And if I turn it off at Brittle Hollow, then I'll be able to go down into the deep and get the control module.
What do we got? Lifting the orbit. Well, the orbital probe in a. We were lifting orbital probe cannon components, and one somehow sank beneath the current. Well, how useful. You should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Convince me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts. I'm very curious to see what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of the giant's deep here at Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory. Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory. And it reveals how an object might sink below the current. I've been unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. Even if I visit the observatory, will you kindly explain? If you don't mind the track beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. The trail head starts at the Brittle Hollows Equator. I see. Whoa! This is cool. I like this. So the cyclones are all gathering around one location. You floated by me at one point. Or something like you. Alright. People used to live here. Or some shit. gonna test the memory statues. Could be dangerous. What if we don't didn't use the door and stuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Don't told us not to do that. I really want to see the test. There's a huge risk. Probably shouldn't. Maybe blocks will let us take another test. Bad news, I got a glitch. Two islands are on top of each other? Is that why it's so hard to land here? Really? Because it... The guy said that they... Oh, Bramble... Oh, no! Oh, no! No! Oh! And then, oh god, this is gonna be bad. Wait, the water's not... Oh, that'd be the current. Let's try and find that goddamn island. Not that one. That would be... Brabos. That would be Bramble Island. Dangerous? Not dangerous. Uh-huh. What the fuck is that? Trip four, crashes two, four and crashes zero. All the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giant Steep. You just got feldsparred. That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Can't wait to tell Hornfells and Gosson about this one. Your force isn't always the answer. One more off the list. Dark Bramble, here I come. So Feldspar went to Dark Bramble after finding his way down into the pit. Interesting. Good job, Feldspar. 
damn it. Oh no. Oh my ship. No. Oh no. Oh no, it's getting far away from me. Oh no. Oh no. No, come back. No. I can't catch it. Oh shit. Oh, well I found the other island. There we go. It's fucking broken. Statue workshop. Fuck! So this is what I was supposed to see. Yeah. Definitely don't use the dangerous way. But what if I did use the dangerous way? Oh, there's my ship. What is the dangerous way to get into the statue? Did you see that? Did you see that? That's the fucking module. It's right, it's underneath. This is the worst. I have to get... Oh, okay. Oh my god. This is the dangerousest way of all. Oh my god! Wow! No shit, they don't want people to do that! Statue. Wouldn't you kind of step back so Dad is the closest to the statue? When pairing the statue, we'll choose whoever's in the closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Extraordinary sculpting work. He has not done himself again. Now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within the Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the stone statue's counterpart, which will be able to send the sword memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Huh. Us. Sorry, them. Statue. Whatever the fuck that is. That's coming back to life and remakes them, huh? Ash Twin. 
What is the Ash Twin? Install the masks inside Ash Twin project. They look beautiful. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project until the project succeeds. Uh, otherwise, imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. It's the goddamn. Okay. The fucking cannon blowing up is causing the memory loop. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it should would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Sending a being's memory back in time, the same as sending the being itself back in time. <gasps> That's what's happening. As an example, if we were to send my memories back, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence? Imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe that... I believe this is different from receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either way? I don't know! Okay. Isn't that interesting? Oh, that's... So this is being sent back in time. This is one of the best games I've ever played. I'm gonna hit it. Whoa! Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Get out of it. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Nailed it! Ugh. Wait a second. Oh! Suit up. Another happy land. This is what No Man's Sky should have been. Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Enter this place without friends. However, there these are lessons to learn for yourself. Seek the Wandering Arch. Quantum Flux, huh? Got it.
All right. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Wait. Observing a photo of it is the same? Does that mean if it's still under observation, it won't leave? It does mean that. So they're trying to observe the quantum moon so that they can get to it. If they have an object permanently viewing it, they could always go to it. Which means now, I've locked it into place. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Where's the crystal? It disappeared the instant. Okay. This is the last one, but we made it harder. I took a look at those.
Oh my god. De oh. oh. Okay. You stay. We offer our congratulations. You learn the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have, a, have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you in your journey. You walk in the footsteps of came before you, and your path guides the, all those who will follow after. Okay, that means if I was able to take a photo of that goddamn moon. Did you guys see it? No! Did I get it? Okay. Maybe one more thing. I want to land on that fucking quantum moon. I want to see if it works. There it is. Autopilot. Got it. There we go. Did it. Wait, what do you mean don't look directly up? Are you serious? Are you guys actually for real with that?
The atmosphere counts. Wait, what? Oh my- Oh my god, every part of this fucking thing is quantum. Of the whole fucking planet! Recall the room of quantum entanglement. You recall- okay. Quantum imaging, quantum entanglement. Recall the rule of the sixth location. I don't have enough. I'm missing entanglement. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Okay, well that doesn't work. Signal identified as the quantum moon. <sighs> These are the locations. Okay, that's where I was. I don't know where that is. I don't remember what that I don't know what that is. So you're saying I could just beat the game right here? If I knew how to do it. <laughs> well, I mean, if I knew the solution to this puzzle, I could just do it. The, these things are just information. Oh my god. What do you mean you hope I... Okay, no, my ship is still there. My ship is still there. My ship stay... Wait, what? I just... I saw something different. It wasn't... It was this! Hello? What are you? You're one of their ships. I'm here. After watching it wander the size for so long, I am about to stand on the quantum moon. My excitement is so great I could combust before I step outside the shuttle. Here are my re collect reflections. I have learned from the wandering quantum moon in school and from those who came before me. I have visited each of the shards and learned what they had to teach me. I am ready. Damn it. I need the... No! It doesn't work. Where does this go? Where am I going?
What happens if I do this? It doesn't want to. What? Where's this? What is this? Southern Observatory. I'm on Brittle Hollow. Eh. Okay. This is... Okay. This place is falling apart. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. What? What? Where am I? Uh, I don't... What was that? What am I looking at? What is this thing? And what is that thing? Okay, that's a wormhole. But what are you? It's warping in the presence of the wormhole. But it's got... I can get on it. Got it. What is this? Twin projection. Okay. It didn't do any. No. Um. The White Hole Station. Did you fall through the black hole by accident? You can use this warp tower to return to Brittle Hollow. Warp towers work like this stand in the middle of the platform, look up, and wait. The path opens of the tower's corresponding astral body is directly overhead. So that's a warp to Brittle Hollow. Does that mean... Where am I?
Where's... Where's this? Which one is this? Oh, I'm on. How did I arrive in the past? What is this thing? This is like the craziest looking thing I've ever seen. Brain. hurt. Come on, quantum moon. It's not the quantum moon. It's not the quantum moon. Where are you? None of you. Come on. No. No. Is that it? No, that's the regular moon. Shit. Wait, no, wait, is it? Okay, fuck it. My signal scope can detect the fucking quantum moon, huh? Gotcha. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, yeah! Nailed it. All right. There we are. Exactly who I was looking for. Exactly. No, wait. That isn't what I was looking for. I wanted the tower. Where's the tower at? There it is. Does anything change in here? Yeah, the murals are hints, as that is the location of one. That's the location of another. And this is the location of the third. Back to the ship. So, if people are a bit confused as why time and space seem... relative here, it's because they are. There's a quantum uh, mechanic under here where anything that I observe can be real, but if I stop observing it, it stops being real. What the fuck is that? <gasps> is that a Nomai? I guess he's dead, huh? Not much else to do. Need to find that ship, and sure enough, there it is. If I play this in VR, no, this would be a, a, a vomitorium in the VR. Shouldn't have done that! Fuck! Now, if I remember correctly, I 
fucked up. Screw it. I fucked up piloting this ship. It looks like this place is actually a lot smaller than it appears. Oh my god. It's much smaller than it appears. Up seems to bring it back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Up brought me back into space. And I believe I just launched into space. Oh no! Okay, well... Oh, no. Alright. So that's definitely launch. That's... Definitely return. I don't know what that is. All right. Southern Observatory is that way. Well, let's explore this way, like I did last time. But what about here? Hello. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to take my pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready. We need another rule. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower's on the opposite side of the Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower. Our gratitude for you sees in both directions. Alright, crossroads is to the next. Yeah, this is the only safe place to land for sure. Okay. <gasps> no! 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 So fucking could help. Help. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. You have any concerns about our settlement stability, or should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be whoop. Can't be rescued if we aren't present. I don't believe anyone's counting to save us. We have to save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye signal called to us and we fall out. We're here to find it. And we're here to survive but to thrive. This is a wise point, Plume, and I eloquently made. Moving the northern glacier will keep us safer than that's what we should do. Fuck. Okay. And then... Please, just let me fucking read it. Building beneath the crust again wood shelters from the volcanic moon's explosions. We use the gravity crystals to craft a safety path. Fucking... I'm lost. I'm so lost. Well, I didn't land here. What do we have here? The trees are moving. The trees in the scrub and water about freely. The entire plant, roots and all. It's not normal. Not even for the salient plant. I've never seen them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations. That the trees are important, or my brain must be. Bloom is right, the trees do move. I confess that I didn't notice this until I read his notes. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There's other matter in the area. Moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason. It possesses a color and texture I've never seen elsewhere. This rock's sharp presence is significant. We should study it. Could be also causing other nearby objects to move around the planet. Huh. This area is quantum? Just 
Sure enough. Alright. Oh. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the moon, descend the steps to the finding entrance. The knowledge held within the of your new journal. Yeah, 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 about that. I don't care about that. I care about this. Felix and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grave are, grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Unique signal is coming from the shard. Wonder if the moon sends the same. Another object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. So imagine the moon's behavior in this grove are related. In our note from earlier, Felix mentions the strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere in Brittle Hollow. What if it's originally from... wait. What if it's not from this planet? This quantum shard is from the wandering moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. I've also heard the signal of this shard produces coming from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Huh. Is that? This is one of my boys. For sure. Yeah, there's just somebody here. Now, what do we have here? What the... Escape pod. Is everyone unharmed? No one's badly injured from the escape pod's impact, we're fortunate. It's good news. Have you heard from escape pod two or three? No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear out two other escape pods, distress signals. Is that any comfort? They must be structurally intact. Continue calling for them. My gratitude if we can. The moon's approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be aware of falling ash and debris. The moon has passed. The planet doesn't appear eager to have welcome guests. We're certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. So there are several promising sites below the surface. We need to construct a way for everyone to climb down safely. Perhaps we could build platforms? Hello, no my escape pod. Where are you getting your power? Hello? Escape pod one, vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, waiting departure from vessel. Escape pod 3, launching 2, 1. Collision imminent. Scanning external environment, scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected, pockets of breathable air, adequate solar energy. Verdict hospitable. Emergency hatch. Oh no! 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 Welcome to the Whitehall Station. Did you fall through the black hole by accident? Don't worry, you aren't the first. Use this warp tower to return to Brittle Hollow. Warp towers work like this. Stand in the middle, look up. The path opens when the tower's corresponding astral body is directly overhead. Okay. Right, and now it should be on Brittle Hollow. Right. Right, I got here a millisecond. This is exactly where I ended the stream. I got here a millisecond after, sorry, before arriving. The hanging city below. Oh, that's not a way through. Interesting. To our friends on Bro Hollow, I just warped here from the Whitehall Station. Design work, we successfully created warp travel. This wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as what we built works, I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Wait, this can't be correct. Have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. 
There must be an equipment error somewhere. Returning to the Whitehall Station. If you and Rude meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic without the less problem. Don't tell Cass Silva. Okay. Finally. Tell me about the Ember Twin. Raimi and I have reviewed the records and appear to show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver at Brittle Hollow slightly before getting to the Whitehall Station. Or leaving the Whitehall Station. Standard is exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment. The results at the very same time every time someone warps. The interval is very minuscule, roughly one one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? So I've already told Raimi these measurements can't be accurate. How can I know my arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped on the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Well, I don't disagree. It would mean that I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding the universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs around the nature of time. Yes, and I hope so, too. Poke. As Pi is confident the reading is that inaccurate, she's kind of helping me to recreate the phenomenon of the High Energy Lab. Designing an experiment, taking more data. The High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once, you need to see this. And we can take a look at that. Oop. Where? Oh. Oh. Well, that's cool looking. And it's on the surface. Skeleton. Interesting. Ow! Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah! Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. I think I just died. Still loving the game? Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm tearing apart a mystery here. Ah. Nailed it. Whew. Oh God. In the ancient glade, the quiet shade, it's always dark across old bark. Wait, what? In the ancient glade, across old bark, the quiet shade, it's always dark? I don't understand. My ship's getting fucking torn up, guys. Hello? Another location on Timber Hearth that I haven't found. Oh, this is nauseating. Property of Chert. Detect a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the quantum moon, so it stands the reason the two signals are related. Don't know much about the moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it. Hopefully studying the signal in the grove will reveal more about it. Alright, back to Britta... Britta... Ugh, oh, just get me the fuck there. Just give me the fuck there. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 shit! Oh, fucking... Oh, or... Okay, here we go. Whoa! whoa. Is this the right one? 
No, wrong one. What the? Oh. My, my suit. Wait, what? What the? What? The? Oh, no. I can't even get out. I can't even get out, guys! Guys, why you tell me to do that? That's the biggest stumbo yet! That's a big stumbo! Whoa! Alright. Oh, shit. Alright. That's what I was just looking at before. Get the signal scope out. Oh. There we go. Forgot the gravity here sucks ass. Gabro. Hey, dude. I found all sorts of shit. I reached the inside of Statue Island. They created those statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I see the Nomai doing that. Not sure what they're for, but it seems they're sort of thing. I think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember that one of the beach looked at me funny. That must be my memory friend. I used to stay calm out here. Deep breath. I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. Sure, why not? Close your eyes. I definitely did not find this shit. That's definitely new. So anyone observe the Phantom Moon? Your thoughts interest me. Interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, the Hollow Lantern? Imagine there were two volcanic moons. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. This moon isn't volcanic. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow Lantern for nights at a time. Nights, the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show its face. There can be exist too much lava. I strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. This area is unstable, safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling dust and rocks. Given concerns of our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary one? Northern Glacier. Wait, what? Why is this place duplicated on the outside near the White Hole Station? It's 
not. Let's keep exploring. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. The signal is older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No, no, my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in the universe be older than the universe? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find the eye of the universe. Let's see. What do we have here? They saw the eye. They got attacked by the bramble. They fired off escape pods. One failed to leave the bramble. One hit the hollow. Which would be this? Or the ash twins? And one of this would be brittle hollow. And why did the vessel crash in that place? Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, we checked before the warp. The warp core navigation systems were both well. We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye. When we were where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. I suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. You can hear the other Escape Pod's distress signals. Foley, you're still here. I'm not sure how to survive this place. I'm not sure how to be me without you. Oh, that's sweet. What do we got down here? My brother wasn't in one with us. Was he in two or three? Was he able to board escape in a pod at all? We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot and I will not allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Let's see what we got now. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, the part of the fucking planet that's supposed to be here isn't here! down. Slow it. Oh, fuck shit. Nailed it. Very interesting. Journey for here from South Pole has been, um, I'm gonna go say harrowing because of all the meteors, but hey, Mista made it unconcussed and not on fire. See, I poked around a little and there's some old gnome my path starts across my campfire, campsite inside the ruined building with trees going out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs. I can handle stairs to get my supplies together. I'll follow the stairs and see where it leads. Gravity cannon, east. That's a gravity cannon. Got it. Tower quantum knowledge. Oh, you launched. Great. That's great. Great job, you. I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? This is a brittle hollow. Probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? Here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own uh, four eyes since I was a hatchling. The alien race lived in the system long before we even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only you probably heard the other say, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. You want to know how I even got this far? I tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck that I landed somewhere. My little scouts is halfway, halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. Engaging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. This seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just gonna stay here until I'm ready to move on. That's enough about me and my problems. You can come all the way to listen to me blather, huh? That'd be yeah. I learned something. Oh cool. I found the Nomi Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Hollow. Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. They must have had trouble when they launched their escape pod. What kind of trouble? 
Where the where to launch from? I'm so curious. It's amazing. Hope we can find out more about why they arrived here. Where should I explore? Where shouldn't you explore? I know, right? I'm so fortunate because the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the hanging city, which is the north. You can't see it from here. This is a big dome called Southern Observatory. Can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried, but it's like the rest of the nomad structures here. There's probably a path beneath the crust. Good luck with exploring. If you learn anything about the nomad, I'd love to hear it. What are you doing? An archaeologist, remember? I don't. Or the archaeologist, seeing as all I'm all I'm all Timber Heart Scott right now. But the hall is rich with nomad history, that's why I'm here. Plans an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. Any questions about the brittle hall of nomad? I'm your Harthian. Or maybe knowledge of them? So maybe I can help. See you later, man. I've made it to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Zero, huh? Wait. What? What? What the? Fucking nailed it. No data. Interesting. Okay. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival means you've completed your prep on Giant Steep and are ready to depart for the moon. Huh? On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me, to the moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine we built on the Quantum Moon. Remember the final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Be curious in your journey. Okay. Fuck. 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 No, take the... Fucking no. <sighs> You're here to make your first pilgrimage before you do remember. We make the journey not for ourselves, but also for the groups of communication between the survivors. No, I looked up from two different planets, saw the same wandering of the quantum moon that kept their curiosity alive. After the two divided groups were able to reunite so to find the visible quantum moon, it took time. We all died before we figured out how to do it. When you reach the moon, recall these. No, I carry their curiosity onward with you. <sighs> Elmo, while we are journeying there, I will brush you a little bit. You like your brushes? He likes his brushes. Because he's a filthy, smelly cat. He needs his brushes. Oh no! Pretty much all of tonight's gonna be Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow is like so much bigger than Giant's Deep. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. There are plants I haven't been to. Oh, fuck shit. Uh, oh. 
What the? Well then. Yeah, so what if I fucking broke it? Yeah! This is about as fast as you could possibly get here! Alright. Fucking shit! to yellow it. That was something. Hello, language. Black Hole Forge. Eye Shrine. Meltwater. School. School. Black Hole Forge. What did I just do? What did I just do? What did I just do? Ash Twin requires powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? You can retrieve the warp core from the vessel. So require a return to Bramble. Many good know my parish there. My mentor said his old mentor once discovered he used an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in Fossil Cave when we were children. What memory is the fossil with theoretically that helped us invade the, the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested. Thus, this war core is broken, at best. Recall the present one. Recall the lethal injuries. There's no guaranteed reward for the risk. Perhaps you could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. You craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have a design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Polk was apprenticed to Anana, who created the original design of our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. Leave I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but I don't know how to explain many of his designs to me. This is the safest... What the... Oh my goodness. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that the others now believe might be impossible. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential harm. I very much would like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe a black hole forge crew and I could recreate such a basic design. 
Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its caught hazing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering and it's best to relearn, I think. This is blowing my fucking mind. I have too much to learn here. Feels strange trying to recreate an owner's warp core without him. At times it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice, the black hole forged to be in my care, not his. This will always feel strange, even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor and deeply. To have a chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this. What if excitement has clouded with the assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in the star system and I never saw Anona's warp core with my own my th own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Still, all I can give is my best, and as Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, we will find another way to achieve what's near. I have Clary and Root in the Forge, and I have my clan, I am not alone. Where does this go? Let's go nowhere? No, it doesn't. Water. Fuck off! Well, now I can come back here! Ugh, thanks for the trees. A lot of dead people here. What is the eye of the universe? Suppose the eye is an advanced being. The eye is much older. Imagine how it can teach us. The source of the signal that brought us here. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. How can the eye be older than the universe? It is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language you don't know. Maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. From the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age. Perhaps its lack of age. The signal is a call. Are we the intended audience? We wel be welcome to this place. The shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us this our system. The signal from the eye. We observe the eye signal on our travels and followed here to find its source. What we know is the source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe of the rest. Uh, we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. This is like a religious shrine to like a radio signal. What the fuck are you guys into? You guys are into some stupid shit! I no longer believe as I did as a child on Ember Twin. The other universe wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. Terrible circumstances of our arrival here almost certainly exactly that circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the eye in some ways, wishful thinking the eye might have called out to any sentient species. Or it might have been calling out at all, and that my ancestors heard the eye signal holds no great deep meaning. That wouldn't be so bad, I think. In fact, the eye might not have any wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. Okay, this guy's like, I don't know, man. Okay. No. Wait. Okay. Fuck! That's the same symbol as the 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 warp pads, yeah. Do I have to warp there from the the black hole? It's upside down. That's interesting. I never found this place. Explanation of festivals. All in Omai, clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in the science and heart. It's called the festival. At some festivals, the clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance too, like Anana's warp war, which made it so that everyone could warp long distances. Each clan has a festival to show their most interesting work. A single festival could last a long, long time. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. Don't forget, festivals happen every ten years. Formation of the universe. No one knows how the universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense at this 
Early universe expanded, also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to form together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster, faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day, the stars and all the life they support will die. It's scary to think about, even though Quan only tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes, but it'll still happen to somebody else's someday. Why should we build a new vessel? Show my clan explores the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of the clan. It's unusual for Nomai to remain in one place for so long. Their wanderers have no permanent home. If we built a new vessel, we could return our adventurous way of life. Imagine all the new places we could go. Our clan would be stuck in this star system. We'd even meet other Nomai and learn from them, like Koli said we used to do long ago. Probably wouldn't be hard to get the parts if we stopped building other new things. And if we broke down the structures like the towers on twi Ash Twin for parts. Might have built a smaller vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large. We could make it bigger later once we reach plants with more resources. It would also be good if we stopped building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. I asked Yarrow and he says we could use lots of resources on the Ash Twin project. We'd even have a warp core for jumping long distances like vessels have. Poka tells me she used plans to make a very advanced warp core for a different project. I'm sure she could connect to the vessel for travel because Poke is smart. Shuttle is currently at the quantum moon. Well, there's a nice little hint. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Cool. I think I just killed the shuttle. How can I go explore something else if I haven't finished this one? Damn it. Both of those paths are death traps. Oh, come on! Oh my god. Come on. Yes! Fucking finally. I knew I could do it. Wait, what? What? But what, what what? There's There's nothing here. Oh my god. Oh man, I am blind. I thought that was just reflections. Oh my god. Really? Really? Oh, fucking Jesus. <gasps> no! This part terrifies me. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna fly off the side when I bump into it. Okay. I fucking did it, finally, Jesus.
My dad and I were lifting orbital space space cannon components in orbit, and then one somehow sank beneath. You should have seen it. We thought it was impossible, but sank straight to the core. You convinced me to try not to recreate the phenomenon using other cannon parts, but we're very curious. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude. Constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at the Brittle Hawk Southern Observatory as it reveals how an object might sink below the current. I completely forgot that this was going to tell me how. Unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to help you. It's a rather large projection pool. He's been using cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift the orbital probe cannons. The one one was pushed past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. We're crafting a model to determine why. An update. It's not clear there are two different types of cyclones. Most cyclones rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones typically used to send orbit. There are also rare types of that spins the opposite direction, which is interesting. My gratitude. Kanoi is showing me your handiwork. I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. Was it really necessary to build a model just to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant Steep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. This would push me down. And this would push me up. That's it. That's it. That's the entire thing. That's crazy. How should our methods change to continue our search for the eye? We know that what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. So what if we try and find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a that's how they okay, that's how they did it. The idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. We leave as a solution for the problem. We've spoken about the technology they've developed. So we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this purpose, we should discontinue the search mode. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover these long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant seat would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would explain the best angles for launch. It's moonless, except for on the continent. Let's build a cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep, so that... Okay. Alright, well let's meditate until the next loop. And then hit Giant's Deep. Shut up, there was another wall. I'm gonna flip out. I'm gonna cry. You're completely right. You're completely right. I still love this game, I just feel like I'm actually quite stupid at it today. Wait, how'd my ship end up out there? Wait, did that- wait. Oh, this is the one I didn't get! What have we learned thus far in our search? Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, but we were unable to locate the eye. Locator we built on Adel Rock, and the new, more sensitive locator we built here, we were both unable to detect any trace. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around the star system's sun. That would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. I can suggest that the eye signal called out to summon us. I'm aware, I grew up hearing the eye story, yet we're no closer to finding us. Th 
that is so fucking smart to hide it. There it is. There it is. Well, that didn't explain much at all. All right. All right. Oh, let's call it. I'll have to go get Feldspar. Or uh, go through the uh, Ash Twins. Giant Steep, where are you? There you are. Okay, well, I tried. Wait, what? I don't remember this. Oh, I must be the other guy's spaceship. Damn it. There it is. That's how. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I fucking figured it out. I'm so smart. That did that do it? That did do it. I am so smart. It was all me. Is this what it's like when the sperm gets into the egg? Hell yeah. Time for uh, a party. Ugh. Yeah! Projection stone for Ash Twin. Let's read. Of exciting news, Privet, the Ash Twin project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Raimi is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you in the orbital can can well? We are! Probe tracking module is ready to record each launch fl flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and it screws moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the eye of the universe, it'll send an alert directly to you and Raimi. Ooh, interesting. Ooh. Ash Twin Projection Stone into here. Now let's project. Okay, what do we got? So Ash Twin is where those masks are at. Only three active masks. Me. 
And then... A different guy on the planet. Launch module projection zone. All right, this I remember. We got in here before. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fear it not, my nervous friend. We need we only need to fire the probe once anyway. So who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural inte uh, integrity slightly? I would I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because if we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Okay. Receiving data from probe 9388. Visualizing current trajectory of probe 9388. Oh, these are multiple launches. Infinite possible launches. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Oh my god, that's so smart! The data travels back in time! So they're firing it an infinite number of times! Total number of probes launched, 93,088! Deep Space Anomaly matching all known criteria for the Eye of the Universe found by Probe 9354. Oh my god, that's so smart. What's happening? I can't even begin to explain it. That's Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. That's... That's the coordinates? The fuck is that? What, what the fuck is that? Holy shit, that was incredible. What a genius plan to find the eye of the universe. And they were right. They only needed to fire it the once. Unfortunately, the th coordinates are in their language, which I don't understand. Since Ash Twin seems to be where we need to go, let's hit that dark bramble, shall we? I also have yet to check out the interloper. And I believe that might be Whitehall Station right there. Yeah, it is. Oh, this one's a doozy. I hate it. This is a doozy. That looks uncomfortable and I can't explain it, so I don't like it. Wait. What the hell? Is this even a planet or is it the remnants of a planet? I have a sneaking suspicion that I know what the deal is. I believe it's larger on the inside than it is on the outside. The, um... This... This thing I found earlier... Yeah. ...had properties of non-Euclidean space. What the fuck? Which means I'm probably... ...going... Yep. Yep, it's bigger on the inside. Oh, come on. 
red seems good. All right, red. What do you got? I see. I fucking hate this game. This is all of my actual worst fears. <gasps> Combined into one game. Sea eating me? Yeah. Alright. You, you know one of my reoccurring nightmares is about that, right? It's about a fish sucking your dick? No. That's not a nightmare for me. Oh, God. I will now pleasure myself with this fish. Anglerfish fossil. The Nomai learned how to evade anglerfish theoretically by studying an anglerfish fossil they found on the Ember Twin. Looks like we got a new destination. Oh my god, this is going to be really uncomfortable. Because Ember Twin is about one kilometer from the surface of the sun. What? Which means landing on it at all is going to be difficult. One kilometer from the sun? How would you not burn up, like... I'm a fish man, Paige. Up, 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 and... Okay, we're gonna land now. Landing! Yeah, well. Not fixing that. They have another gravity cannon here. Oh, look, there's the Ash Twin. Hello. Oh! Jeez. Oh, no. Oh, God. Where was this thing? Skeleton. Well, where? I feel our situation may be dire. Where? Pi, Poke, and I landed on this comet not long after its arrival in our star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings come where somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended in it to investigate the source of the readings. The Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke, Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does. Did you see that? No, what? For one millisecond when I blinked, the quantum moon was around, uh, Giant's Depth. Giant's Deep. This is an astonishingly fucking small planet. Holy shit. Look at that. Whoa, what is that thing? Sunless City. 120 meters. I'll check out the sun the city. Well, shit. Wait, is that fucking ghost matter? Yeah, I haven't examined the twins' orbit. I do know the twins' orbit is fucking goofy. Oh, boy. What? <gasps> uh yeah! What is that? Sand. Gravity cannon. A 
that's not what I wanted. Nothing, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, hey, don't worry, hey, don't worry about it. Why are you dead now? Hello? What is this thing? Dark Bramble. <gasps> it tracks the moon! I'm able to... Oh! I can force it to be in locations. I can force it to be around Brittle Hollow. Oh, this is gonna let me control where the fucking moon is. Oh, cool. This planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. This is also of note. It disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital characteristic? I found your note, Melloray. Kindly count me among this moon's admirers. What is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. Is it moved to another location? I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits Simber Hearth as well. This is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it. Or even better, we should travel there. I agree. Our first set... Should, would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so we can always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of microscopic quantum mechanics. Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. Clearly, the Nomai were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What's this big rotating device for? What was it the Nomai were observing? I posit there's something special about the orange symbol on the device. How on the new astronauts translated tool would be ha ha very handy right now. Quantum moon lake locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Anona Burr. I have observed the quantum moon in orbit around the dark bramble. I added a marker for dark bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the phantom moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there is a problem with the device. It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system to which the quantum moon travels. You have keen eyes, my friend. So this moon travels to a location of five locations, not four. The sixth location. All right. What do we got here? We need status reports for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone on harm? Our escape pods passengers are afraid, but physically well. Anona, everyone survived the crash. That's the relief at least. You have my gratitude. Burr, were you able to find the other escape pods distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. Alright, one's in Dark Bramble, and one's on Giant's Deep. Ah, oh, here we go. Wait, hold on. Alright, here we go. Escape pod 2. Vessel's been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Escape pod 3. Launching 2. Collision imminent. Prepare for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. External temperature is prohibitively high. Verdict inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on the planet's surface. Heat from the star system sun is more bearable below the surface. 
When our escape pod punctured the planet's surface, it broke into what shows is a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter. These passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still our best chance to, for survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everybody. Be aware that the sand of you search, it appears to be rising gradually. Escape hatch. Keep moving, friends. There's nothing of interest but passage rocks. While these rocks are interesting, they can wait until less urgent time. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. We'll examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live through this. Could be an angler fish. Gotta get down there. We found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we can construct a long term shelter there. Cavern Mellorey found is a wise choice for shelter. Can one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to shelter. I've left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost. It is filling with sand. Of note, this passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank here, but do not linger as the area is exposed to the sun. Oh, that's pretty. Refill your air supply tank and return quickly to the surface. Oh my god, this sand shit. Oh man. Aha! You're doing well. There's only a little farther to the left left to go now until you reach. Hurry before the sand comes. This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered any others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. What I can see, I believe this specimen to be very old. Imagine what we could learn if we examine it. We both agree it's unlikely that this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, especially consider what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly, this hole is too small for it to fit through. Hypothesis, there's another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. An update. We need to find a way inside quickly because when I have returned here to search for an entrance, there were children playing on the specimen. What is up with the sand in this fucking place? Oh shit. The door fucking closed. Oh well. I don't like this. Stay. <gasps> no! Guys, help. Meaning the fossil fish cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the anglefish overlook hole, you'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to Stepping Stone Cave, then up and into the fossil fish cave. I tried to get to the fossil fish through Stepping Stone, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? I had to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to ang or fish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Tacky can't fit through the angler fish overlook because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levy now. Who cares? Ilix is still the tallest. <sighs> Should we bring the sun build the sun station to power the Ash Twin? Almost can't all, can't her hand being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe as a species. 
we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will do question. But that question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of the, the star system. I wish to protect these species. Potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe. We shouldn't build the sun station. No matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. I'm deeply honored. Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we are all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we build it, then I won't support the station's use. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine powering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling. The sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin. Unsurprisingly, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That is, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. Hello. Oh. Oh my god. Feed it a light and it'll show you the way. Whoever it was that ended up last time is the anglerfish. Rule change. The anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie says the real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. If we're, if it's okay if my younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the angler fish says so, the little fish sneak across to the other side. Angler fish catches you, you're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new angler fish. Old angler fish gives new angler fish the blindfold becomes. A little fish. They're blind. They're totally blind. Hello, what the fuck, where the is, was it? Angler for study. I was making sketches of the angler fish. I observed the children saw playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our work, research, and it's wonderful. Entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. Long growth protruding from this head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it's used as a growth to attract prey. Visually, this specimen appears to be the same species of the dark bramble. We don't believe originated from this planet. Anglerfish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation. Are you serious? Hey, look, a bunch of dead kids. Oh, shit! Hey, chirp. What's up, man? Hmm, oh, it's you. I take it your first launch went well, then? Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mine's sand now. What are you up to? Warnfell's notes our star charts are a bit out of date, so he came here to update them. Something seems, uh, I don't know how to put this off. Seeing, what, ten supernovas I now? Twelve? They're into double digits now, and that's not, you know, normal. Not normal at all. <gasps> you something you needed? found something. Please to tell. I found a Nomai writing, writing about a hidden planet. Fascinating. Might interest you to know the existence of an additional planet is entirely plausible. We look at the physics of the solar system, which just have to be incredibly far out there, farther than Hearthian ships would be able to travel. Honestly, we don't know all that much about what's all out there. The po farther you go, the less we know. As such, it's well within the po realm of possibility of the planet exists. Stars are all dying. There's been too many supernovas for it to be anything else. Well, we're next, do you understand? Our sun, by the hearth's name, we're next. What do you mean, we're next? It's the stars, you see. All the other stars are dying out. Why do we have to be born at the end of the universe? And our sun, at star charts, why? Why do I want to update them so badly? Didn't have to know, but no, oh no. I had to update the charts. I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have. Now our sun is about to, about to, I don't feel well. I'd like to be alone, please. 
Why are the stars dying? I don't know. They're old. Far older than we realized. Now all of them are dying. Doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. Nothing matters anymore. All my research, my life's work wasted. Waste, you understand? This door will need to remain composed for some time. Pi and I are running experiment based on extraordinary findings of the Whitehall Station. An update. The High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help or even just observe, be sure to use this on the city path of the lab. Remy and I will be running this experiment until one of us can prove the other wrong. So, although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed from this on the city. Inviting sad inside would disrupt our setup. It could have enormous consequences. Chat, stop freaking out. Usually I've seen a couple of supernova today. Usually we'd fortunate to see one. Keep an eye or two on the stars. Found something. Found no my writing about the quantum moon. Oh yes, everybody loves a good mystery, don't they? Well, who wouldn't wonder about a moon that sometimes is there, sometimes not? I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it's quite simply disappears. Maybe there's another place. How do I know if I spotted a supernova? Look, extra bright stars, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell they're actually enormous explosions. The supernova at the end of their lifespan, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. I wonder if some of these stars are older than we realize. Where should I explore? Haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to be brag, but I've been quite good with my little scouts. I've been taking pictures of everything right here in my campsite. I've seen the old shipwreck on the Amber Twin Southern Hemisphere, the one shooting a bright beam of light. That's not my ship. Huh, okay. How dangerous is the column sand? On a scale of 1 to dead, I give it a 7 or 8. Awfully pretty, though. Right now, sand is flowing from ash to ember twin. Did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth. It seems to be natural. Check the other twin once more. The sand drains off. You won't be disappointed. Really? Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed in the North Pole several days ago, and we're unable to find any trace. I don't know how much air he had, but I beg any friend reading this, please recover Coleus. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? I plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Or maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update. My Laura and I went back to the Lake Bay Cave and stirred this rock again. Sometimes it's there, and sometimes it's not. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon. How curious. Where does this go? To the other lake, of course. Friends, if you see any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during a research trip, and he's been missing ever since. Some of us from some of the city are here to search for him. Can you tell us more? You have my gratitude. Kalis and I were studying in cave geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock. Where was he lost? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant without warning. I turned away from Kalis to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there. He had a limited supply of air, and I'm afraid of him. We'll learn more by examining the North Bed Lake Bed Cave, where he disappeared. Oh, the whole area's quantum. Fuck. If you come here looking for Coleus, this is where he, we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days. But what happened before he disappeared? We were examining the rocks. I recall him standing on the largest one, the wandering rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, him and the rock were gone. Your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual looking rock shard in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. Oh my god.
Is it this one? It's... It's, it's gotta be this one, then. It's this one. How curious. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. I wonder if I myself became the quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. How about this? If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis is correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. He's here now, too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to exact as an observer. The being can become entangled with that quantum object, and they move together. He's, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, and if he does, learn something new. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to have lack an entrance or exit. Also, while the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been delighted in such a sedimentary specimen. Which means... I have a sound gun. Oh, that's what I mean. Okay. Gotta get. Oh, shit. Oh. So it changes its properties based on what it orbits. No! Okay. Always lands on the south... South Pole, huh? Yeah, it does matter. Because it means on Giant's Deep I can get to the North Pole easy peasy. Or can I? Oh my god, I did it. But I can't get out. Cuz I'm not on the I'm not on the North Pole. Ah. I'm not on the North Pole. But that means I can put it anywhere I need. Such as... The Ash Twin. And now, I'm on the North Pole. Which means if I spin... I did it. I did it! I figured it out. All I have to do... <sighs> is 
is this? When did that happen? Where am I? <gasps> I'm nowhere. This planet's fairly small. And it does have quantum objects. You're alive! Who are you? Pick up me. Insert me. Explain. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and find the eye of the universe. Me. No. I, I, uh, identify. Okay, we're gonna go identify. Me. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. Many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have, the you have my gratitude for understanding mine. Okay. Me. Quantum moon. Identify it. This is the quantum moon, where we're standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. You? Who are you? Identify yourself. Salamnum, Anomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and now we call it home. Okay. What is the eye of the universe? What is this? We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. Oh, because the quantum moon takes the properties of... Okay. My clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around the star system. Um... I explain. Uh, me. Explain the quantum moon. Please. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon surfaces now, while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it is likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards are quantum, thus the eye is likely also quantum.
People with the same colors, next switch. Identify. Explain. These are the two tenets of the Nomai philosophy to seek out and understand is our way of living. I see. Okay, kind of fine. Okay. Um, the, the eye. Explain the eye. This is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a small scale. As one approaches the eye, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exists macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off the quantum have similar effect as if I imagine you've seen them. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. What would happen if the conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Observe. Okay, did I do all of these? Can I put multiple together? Explain you. Um, explain. Me? You. Sorry, I'm I'm a little I'm a little crazy. Right now, this is unbelievable. I'm on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All know my and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any place that we know. Explain. Me. I did that one. Okay. So I'm gonna start with me. Me and you. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think you have my friend. That's quite kind. So I did... You. Now, you and the quantum moon. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I might not, may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. You and the I. Many of my clan have believed the I called us to us for a singular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe this eye was malevolent, to have lured my clan to the star system only to then vanish from them so completely. Okay. I did that one. Okay, I've done you and everything. Okay, now let's do me and everything. Me and the quantum moon. This is your first time on the quantum moon. It's my first time here. I hope you've if you come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. Okay. Now, me, and the eye. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try and enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? Okay, I've done all of me's. The only thing left I have is the quantum sto quantum moon and the eye of the universe. Imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it is currently orbiting. For example, 
the moon looks different when orbiting Giant Steep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its pri in different forms, the eye, being the moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. Thanks, buddy. What? Oh, it just kicked me out to a... Yeah, they're totally dead on the other locations. That's the coolest puzzle I've ever solved in a game. That is without a, 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 a doubt the absolute coolest thing I've ever learned in a game. fuck is that? Damn it. Yeah, that's a fish. Dead center. What is that? What does that mean? How is he dead? S oh. That's the wrong one. That's the right one. This game is so fucking incredible. He's in a dead one. Get the fuck out, you crazy bitch. All right, Feldspar. <sighs> you crazy son of a bitch. Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's come here in well ever, actually. It makes the second to Earth you never ever reach Dark Bramble after me, of course. Well done. Say it too, they made you an astronaut, and you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. Feldspar, you're alive! Never wore the brightest hatchling, what were you? Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. I've been camping out here since my ship, you know, crashed finally. Wait, what? It's a good story. Just ex finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep and need a new challenge, and none of us had ever been inside Dark Bramble. So I think, hey, I'll give that a try. Been cruising around for a while, dodging the odd massive interdimensional vine, bristling with thorns. I run into this huge anglerfish, the biggest I've ever seen. Pull a few stunts, try and shake the thing off, nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me in a vine, and, well, like I said, crash, blammo. I unpack my ship, starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, I think. That ain't great. Sure enough, barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. So I had to move fast to die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. Camped out near a wire crash at first, then I found the skeleton later. Great, fine. Would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency see tree seeds. Been here ever since. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchlin. 
Story's over. Feel free to enjoy the fire while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. I found some shit. I went to the core of Giant's Deep. So you figured out the old tornado trick, did you? Good work. Found out that bit by accident, but let's keep it between you and me, hey? Hornfells would have my very handsome head if they knew I'd been riding cyclones again. Ship is fragile. It can break. You can't subject it to extreme conditions. Not like I was flying the thing into the sun now, was I? And jellyfish, you figured those out too? Actually, I'll tell you what, you've been done real well for yourself. You're a fine astronaut, sure, but you might just become a pilot yet. Found a dark bramble seed on t Ember Hearth. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Chert will tell you, if you so much just glance in Dark Bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet where the Bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick, like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading towards the same fate. And tell you what, we Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. Found no my writing saying the English rest are blind. Aha, so the blessed things do have a weakness. I mean, my fly as fast as I can approach to dealing with them could have used a bit more thought behind it. Oh, well, at least they didn't eat me. All's well as them, so I actually. Where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere is good. You should know the space is weird here, intensely. Ever try throwing your probe into one of those weird seeds? See there, with the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Probe tracker will tell the you hear the probe is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly, because the space doesn't work right in here. The seed looks small, see? But inside it's bigger. Much bigger. I had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is the space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each spear. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep that in mind when you're exploring Dark Bramble, and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. Where's your ship? Straight past the tail, you'll see a flickering light. So what happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, it must have been chewing on the vine and eating a seed. And then the seed grew and grew until the poor fish's stomach could tell this happened. Gross, huh? Skeleton was a good find. Light keeps the fish away. I know. So either territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Shouldn't I tell ground control to come get you? Oh, well, yeah, sure, whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quite peaceful-ish. A little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. Nice to have a break. Oh, there's a ship. And there's the vine. Let's take a look. Trip four, entry, I'm not gonna say one, crashes three, four and crashes zero. Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. This thing tastes terrible. The outside's all rubbery and tough. That's maybe because it insulates the jellyfish inside from getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going inside this jellyfish's inter interior cavity to see what's in there. It tastes any better. Do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this was the last thing you ever ate in your life. They're only useful for insulation from electricity. Do not eat. Love, Feldspar. That's odd. Oh, shit. Okay. Six hundred meters. I should be able to see it. What? 
There it is. There she is. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities. We've held out as long as we could, but this pod supply breathable air is near the pit and the anglerfish have attacked more and more frequently. Best chance to survive is to return or repair to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, wait for rescue. Seka, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. We've we'll gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. Uh, vessel's been mortally injured. Awaiting departure from vessel. Launching escape pod 3. Collisions of ultra pod's trajectory. Damage detected. Navigation. Life support propulsion. Error. And scanning external environment. Scan complete gravity not detected. Breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected. Potentially hostile. Do not exit the pod. Distinct problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it's, it's impossible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical. Perhaps if I had more time. Nearly out of time already. Din, the vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone. We will be lost. We will need to follow the beacon whose source is nearest. Suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the farther of the two beacons. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still someone who could hear the distress pod signal. Emergency escape hatch. Alright. Well. Trail of lights, huh? These poor fucks. Oh, that sucks. Did anyone come here searching for us? We followed one of the beacons of the vessel to this place and can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seat. The opening is too small for even a single nomad to fit through, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. Don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems to be the space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. We're so close to the location of- Oh! <laughs> still so far as difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying soon. We will be unable to hear it. There's nothing we can do now but try to find a way inside, or at least try to comprehend why it's happening. My dearest hope is the other escape pods are able to re reach relative safety. Alright. Yeah, some of them were hugging, huh? That's depressing. Wow, the patch fixed the exact area that I was going through at the time. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This looks pretty safe. So that's the vessel, huh? Fascinating. Oh, wow. Okay. What the fuck is this? Oh, 
Control room? Bridge? What did that do? Aha! This is the Eskel's vessel. Something went badly wrong during the warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. Send help as soon as possible. Appears to have has it fused with the local environment. There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside itself. We're abandoning the vessel. Any you know my clans or space flight cable species receiving this message. We need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. To any know my clans whose vessels can hear this message, it's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within the space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that black rock suns are fairly stable. Life in the star system is comparatively thriving. Thriving, we live in uh, relative safety. Prefer to continue exploring alone. Know that you will be alone. Kind of, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromie. We'll watch for your vessel. So I heard from Neem. His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Eskel. I remember hearing the story as a child. One day Eskel's vessel simply stopped responding. Their clan searched and searched, but found no traces as their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskel's clan existed and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hysop? It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskel's clan for a long time. At the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in the history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Are you sure you aren't comparing Eskel's story to my clan's vessel? Me and my friend, we freed you were gone. Not yet. We aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. Triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded. It was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. See you, meet you soon, Kenna. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby remember to be extremely cautious of un potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. What the fuck is that? Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Didn't do anything. Didn't. Recording this, I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessels receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. It's our first contact with anything of this nature. Please prepare to warp immediately. Esco, wait. Any more time to send an outgoing message? Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? 
You can send the message upon our arrival. The extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly. We can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focusing on preparing for warp instead. I understand. Is the vessel ready to warp? Warp core is powered, but this will need a significant jump. Afterwards, we'll need time to recharge the core. This shouldn't create a problem. Why do we arrive at, at or near the energy source? Prepare to warp. That's the signal. Okay, I actually need help here. Am I stuck here, or do I need to go repair the fucking warp core? Because I feel like I need to repair the warp core. Yeah, back to Ash Twin, huh? Well, that was pretty fucking crazy. You're right, there's much less stars. The bright ones? What an odd comet. I mean, it's frozen. But... Well, it's got a surface. Now that would be one of those big old blue ones, wouldn't it? Oh! There it is. That one just exploded. That one just exploded. Oh my god, they are all going, aren't they? Oh, that's not good. That's the least good thing that's ever existed. Oh my god, it's everywhere. That's a nightmare. I have a feeling that uh, Eskel and his gang did some stupid bullshit with the Eye of the Universe. Wait, why does it have... This is troublesome. Seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle on ice. Stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it all the way back home to the gravity cannon on Amber Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle. Somebody recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continued monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think. Poke and I continue to investigate the surface. Oh, that's the Whitehall Station. Okay. It's like, what the fuck is that? Thanks, autopilot! Oh, it opens. Oh. Well, looks like I'm okay. Fuck. You. Yeah. Receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere clo below, closer to the comet center. I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. If you're able to lose communication entirely, if you continue any deeper, keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy. Understand, but be cautious, you guys. Okay, well, that'll kill me. Mm. 
That'll kill me. That won't. Right, left. Okay. Um... The pe ha Well, I mean I found you. Actual fuck is that? What? Is that? Spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, source is within the stone. It's detecting some form of exotic matter. Stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. I don't think. We want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would be certainly fatal. Never encounter anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at the density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If the stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously, and the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Turn to the shuttle now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about the salient matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here, and if don't warn the others, maybe they can construct shelter now. So this is where ghost matter comes from. This fucking rock. So pretty much when they found this thing it exploded. And killed everybody in this fucking star system. That comment's a jackass. Cool. Now, I have not been here in one week, so it's going to be a little tough for me to remember exactly... <laughs> How, oh, oh, yeah. So the best thing to do would be to hit the bottom four, I guess. Holy shit. Does it really have to be that fast? Yeah, have I done everything here except for that bottom one? It, I have.
Oh my god, I didn't know you could break those. Anybody in here? Nah, just a bunch of corpses. Got it. Pretty sure I did do the temple, but okay. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us the signal from the eye. Gotta find the eye. Older than the universe. Yeah, I already got these. Thanks, crazy talk. Yeah, I called to us. Why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did something happen to it? Signal stop? Does the eye no longer wish to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may already may not be able to communicate with us any more than it already has. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe somebody built it. If the eye is older than the universe itself, how could something like that have a creator? It could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear it by coincidence? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Let's suppose the signal was created incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important, though? It is fairly culty. This doesn't do it. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do it. Fuck off. Mm. Wow, this is close to the interior of the planet. Look at this curvature. What? I guess I have to wait, huh? So whoever told me I could jump over that, you can get fucked. Why did I run into that knife 12 times? Who can- who can say? Who- who could say? Seriously? There's one here, too? There's one on every planet? Are you serious? Fuck. Yay! Yay, high energy lab! Yay! Now this is the high energy lab. With that goddamn symbol. It's not a machine. That is. Which warp core is the one that would work? Um... Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the Whitehall Station. Ramey and I are devising an experiment to test if this is real or a simple machine error. Initial thing first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. In theory, what we want to try is to reproduce a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole as destination. An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times. 
Pi is unconvinced that it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the naked eye. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City energy supply should prove sufficient. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. We're about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Of note, Raimi, your request that we let him know before we root the energy. But I hate to leave him in the dark. What did they do? The Southern Observatory is asking of creating a 22... This is how they built the memory device. If a 22 minute interval is possible, that is to actually have something arrive 22 minutes before it's actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased dramatically by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases exponentially. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are unable to generate the necessary energy. Ramey and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. It would also require advanced warp technology to be able to handle it. We would also like to need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. The, current, the energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas pie. My pun was unintended. Ramey, I believe it's you who's air from. The Ash Twin Project will be the biggest undertaking, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between the Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use the warp towers, like the one we have on Whitehall Station, to connect each planet directly to the Ash Twin? Poke. Root and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant steep tower, for example, could resemble a cyclone. And we could add trees to the timber hearth tower. What does this do? I just supplied power. White hole. Black hole. on one. Okay, that's pretty good. I guess I died. Let's go take a goddamn look at the Ash Twin. Fuck. So, at this point in time... There's only one location available. Might as well hit the sun station then. Oh, this is gonna be rough. There we go. 
this is gonna be rough. Every single object in this fucking place is exerting its gravity on me, and I fucking hate it. I'm getting pushed around like shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. That is so close. No. There we go. Oh. Where is it? Device. Fuck. It's here. Black Hole Forge. Go. Perfect. Alright. Fuck. Cool. Bro of course. this friends visiting from a hanging city we we're planning the ash twin project the high energy lab on ember twins equator came lost in ember twin the high energy lab is the building with the large solar panels surprised i didn't see it imagine our otherwise immensely clever con conoy would lose his head if it weren't anatomically impossible oh! Oh! <laughs> what? Planet? Am I on? There's the... Oh, there's my ship on the other planet. Well, no. oh, no, no. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and I, Dad, progressing with the Sun Station? Pre presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Yeah, they talked about a power source that was legitimately dangerous to even use. Pi, you know I don't find that funny. How curious. Remy thinks I'm a gas. I don't recall requesting your monitor your this conversation. I don't see what the state of the matter you are has anything to do with that. And I don't recall supporting the Sun Station's construction, but here we are. Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yero. That, at least, we can agree on. Ah. Trouble in paradise. I'm in the Timber Hearth portal. Is that a fucking door? Wait. Uh, okay. That looks like hell. Wait a second. But this one... Where would this... It's not even on center. Twin towers because of twin planets. That doesn't make sense. Because if I were to do this. Right. Should launch me. Right. More new dead guys. Okay, fuck it. 
best way to test is to just test this. Giant's deep. Bramble! Oh, of course it's Bramble. How did I bypass cactuses before? I jumped over them. Remember that time I couldn't jump over the cactus? Yeah, I waited. I waited because the sand hadn't filled it up yet. How do I... Understand. Designs for each of the towers on the planets on Ashwin's equator. Each tower warps to a different planet. Each tower is designed to visit, visually reflect its warp destination. Okay, you have Bramble on the left. You have the Ash Twins. You have Giants Deep. You have you have a triangle, and you have okay. It's a, it's a, it's a, that one's a cyclone, so that's gotta be Giant Steep. The triangle, I don't know. It can't be the fucking sun. I will just die instantly if I teleport into the sun. Yeah, I tried landing on the sun station, but I couldn't, uh... I couldn't do it. Okay, well I got in. Oh, is this the sun station? Oh. This doesn't look like the sun station, it look- That's not splitting hairs. It said that it wanted to go to the planets. This isn't the sun. This is the thing that's around the sun. If they wanted me to think that it was like- the Sun Station, they should have made it look like the Sun Station. Which looks more like a... I don't know, like a pendulum. Alright. So the instant... So 281,000 years ago is when they died. Holy shit. Six minutes and 47 seconds ago is when the sun started to get goofy. And they closed the emergency doors. No wonder they closed the emergency doors. Okay. Science compels us to exp explode the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Here's a better one. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. I like a sense of humor. At least I don't like a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does. They did it on purpose? They did it on purpose?! Approximate time until it's destroyed by the expanding star. I have four minutes. Stars reach the end of natural life cycle. Now approaching red giant stage. Evacuate the sun station. Okay, so it went supernova naturally. They couldn't do it on purpose. What happened? Did it not fire? It fired, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible even in the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we're gonna start over, but I'm sure it won't hurt how to start over. 
Return to Ash Twin first. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed the comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. I heard for you, my friends. We all know how hard you've worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Idea? Well, we're well, though disappointed. I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I'd never wish the device would fail. I'd hope our terrible work is finished. The sun station's pointless? So they couldn't do it on purpose, so when it naturally went off, all their bullshit turned on. So this is the natural end to our sun's life cycle. And we only have 22 minutes to work on it. So we're fucked. So we're fucking fucked. Wait, what? The fuck? Here's our first delivery, Yara. One warp core fresh from the lack hole forge. Root is installing the cord sibling on Brittle Hollow as I speak. Gratitude. With this, the Ash Twin Project's underway. I confess, I'm deeply curious about what you and Poke found in the Whitehall Station at the start of this project. Could I visit and learn more? I recommend you do. The Whitehall Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin Project. So a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose, more precisely, I would like to visit Whitehall Station with you, Clary. Yara, yeah, stop using this scroll to flirt with my sister in romantic matters. Her density rivals neutron stars. And go meet her on Whitehall Station. I'd be happy to explain our findings. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return to Warren to this. Alright, well, I've never used Brittle Hollow. So let's see what the fuck happens. Ugh, I finally made it. That's how I. Oh! No! Don't. Jump. Yes, Elmo, you are very beautiful. Man, you fucks. This is the top of the tower. I made it. I finally figured out how to get here. I finally figured out how to get here. What an asinine fucking trip. Oh my god, it brings me out here. Wait, did somebody say there's only been two... ...rooms I haven't been in the entire game? So they basically built all this bullshit. They built the memory devices. They built... The sun exploding station. They tr they solved the moon. They tracked uh, the fucking eye of the universe, and then they went and saw the com the comet, and then they just all fucking died. Why did they... Wait, why would they build... A teleport station... For the location that I'm already in? This one goes... To the Ember Twin. Yeah, you're right, I might as well hit the forge first. There it is. Yay! Huh. There we go. I was supposed to find a core here. So where the fuck is it? Where am I taking this first black hole core? And why am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, poke it, Clary. I'm leaving for delivery. I'll see you, send you all your regards. 
Okay, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin to make sure he receives it. Of course you are. White hole cores are for the six warp receivers. Each warp tower leads to a different planet. So that will be a greater pain in your cervical spine. Here I know the exact locations. One, two, three, four, five. Where's it? I don't. Claire and Root kindly tune the alignments on each black hole core as I finish them. The schematic on the floor shows which. Warp tower aligns with which astral body? Schematic shows six towers on Ash Twin, two and only five alignments. Is that a mistake? No, that's correct. A warp tower's alignment and its destination don't have to have to be the same astral body. Is that advantageous for warping from towers that lack a clear line of sight to their destinations? You've seen Phlox's tower designs in the high energy lab. They clarified each tower's warp destination. The speed future delivery stage twin. I've tuned the first black hole core to activate when its warp tower lines with the brittle hollow. And before anyone comments, yes, I'm aware that it reduces the distance between me and me. I have good news. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed at the heart of Ash Twin. I have to be looking down. Because the... Oh my god. This game is so amazing. This game is so amazing. <laughs> this... I'm teleporting to a location inside the Ash Twin. Oh, man. No, no, it isn't. No, what, whatever. Is everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary and her design work is beautifully clever. Of course, durability can still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yara. Once the core is finished and my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Does that mean all I have to do is go back? <gasps> no! Well, that was unlucky. Well, lucky, I suppose. All I had to do was look down. It just has to rotate over the right place. Where I look literally doesn't matter. Elmo, right now is not a good time for this. Wait. What the fuck is this? I thought that trippy bullshit was just... D d what? Okay. <sighs> Receiving data from the probe tracking module, Giant's Deep Memory Statue, Timber Hearth Memory Statue. Four cycles into end of cycle transmission. Four minutes. Today we finished the excavation of the Ash Twin. Here in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambition, ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. 
We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll want, need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments in the high energy lab. I can still hardly believe their hypothesis was true. Poke just sent the black orb core to the final tower to collect from the black hole forge. Now Ashwin can be connected with the giant deep. Or Casa Ava is working with to make the orbital pro cannon and he's making the memory statues. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. The core should have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important part, point is that we are all connected through Astro now and also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giants Deep tested the probe cannon today. Mallow tells me that the cannon is doing well and that Av Avan advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax make some powerful device, he can. But then, if anybody can give a good device and exploding, that too is likely to happen. Perhaps I should check in with the Orbital Probe Cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avans that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard with the cannon? Or that is Mallow part of the problem? Phlox and Daz finished the statues today and they are remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event that it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. They've, uh, they've worked hard on the Sun Station, and at last it's complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ash Twin requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This is the most project most difficult task in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the project. This is what will happen. First, the Sun will explode. Sorry, it will receive the order to fire, prompting to it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes! Oh my god, that's... Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to launch the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin Project will last 22 minutes. We can end the cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. Suppose we redesign it. So to generate the power of magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. It's easier expressed than accomplished. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. However, this is the closest we have been. The Astrid project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system, and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored something somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. And then they died. Artificial gravity control. Why the fuck would I turn that off? If I do that, I'll just die. What? Ah, that was the core. Let's do it. Oh my god, I just realized. I have to get through the anglerfish with the core safely. Fuck! I found the mask inside the Ash Twin project. Seeing the statues made of memories to be sent back in time? I guess that makes sense. Wait, it's just our memories been sent back, so are we really experiencing multiple time loops? Maybe our consciousnesses have been through all these loops, but maybe our bodies haven't, because technically the loops never happen. Meaning we're receiving memories of things that will never happen to us. Cool, right? I found your quantum poem. Oh yeah, the one in the woods. I remember writing that. Pretty fun, huh? Works for a good 24 poems. I'm done exploring. I want to make some quantum art. Maybe some kind of sculpture that just like shows up while your back is turned. Why'd you guys want me to come talk to this guy? 
Found the source of the time loop. Really? No, my cat arfed out Ash Twin and built a time loop device? That is wild. Now we know what's causing the loop, and if it's caused by a device, that must mean it had to be switched on, right, huh? What do you think if you turned it off? Like, part of me that thinks it should the sun blowing up and all. Again, who wants to spend eternity being blown up by the sun? Well, I'm no loop expert. I'm just gonna sit here and. God damn it. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here and go fucking end the universe. Alright, so if I get there and Ash Twin is anything than the perfect distance for it, I'm gonna reset it. That's not gonna work. Except it did work, but it's not gonna work a second time. Shit. Oh, there's a lot of pressure here. Holy fuck. Elmo, this couldn't be the, the... Oh my god, you son of a bitch. Oh my god, Elmo. How much time do I have? Ten minutes? Let's go. Got it. Okay. Elmo, come on, man. All I have to do... Got it! Oh my god, thank you. Thank you for the coordinates. Thank you. Thank you, video game. Is that... Is that my son? There it is. I misunderstood what I was even looking at. It's so big. Wait, I thought I passed through the event horizon. So how am I... Oh. 
I guess I'm in the event horizon. like the one I ran into before. Oh my god, that's the quantum realm. <sighs> Outer Wilds Adventures was founded by Feldspar, Gossen, Slight, and Hornsfeld to explore solar system at the end of the universe. The Nomai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Herthian was able to reach the eye. Nomai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the deadly substance called ghost matter. The flood of the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death, we will miss the angler fish the least. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and then exploded into a violent supernova. Up, oh, sir. Lights in the sky are stars. It's happening again. They're all going out. This fucking rock. That's... What?
Hey, man. You hear music? changed. It's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we still need the others for this next part. We need, you know, everyone. No rush, take your time. Might not even exist here. Aren't you forgetting someone? Orbiting the f he is. How the fuck do I get out there? Shit. The stars are beautiful, weren't they? Even if our star was what ultimately killed us. I'll wait here and remember them more. You gather, everybody. Hatchlin, you found me. Nice to have company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on, go on. get the others. Wouldn't want them to miss out. A quiet shade. Across old bark. The ancient glade. It's always dark. I know where I am. Hey time hey time pal, so you're getting the band back together, huh? Go on, go find the others.
Oh man. Is that Salanum? Holy shit. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Yeah. Let's figure it out. Go. Song is new to me, but I'm honored to take part in it. Tell you what, this has been really fun. I got to help make something pretty cool, so I got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stop and smell the pine trees along the way, you know? Cut it a little close, don't you think? Well, it worked out alright in the end, I suppose. Ah, uh, hope there are no beasties in the next one. Ah, uh, how long has it been since I got to make music with everybody around a campfire? Really happy we're all here. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning. I think the rules are about to change. I learned a lot by the end of everything. Past is past now, but that's, you know, that's okay. It's never really gone completely. Future's always built on the past, even if we won't get to see it. So, um, it's time for something new now. I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remi remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? Yeah. I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. Oops. Is that the motherfucking Big Bang?
Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Once you have the warp core, you can outrun the supernova or hide on the quantum moon and get a bad ending. I really like that. Put that at the end of your games. It's old fashioned, but it's it's really appreciated. I can't imagine the planning board. It's really complex. It's, uh, it's really bananas that the game came out. Like, there were parts that were a little frustrating, apparently, with the final puzzle. But, um, the, the breadcrumbing was for real. Good at good ass Brad crumbs. You you good job. All right. So the only hint about the new DLC is that there is a new exhibit at the museum. I have not touched this game once since I, the day I beat it on stream. Oi, it's that fucking thing. This thing fucked up my whole life. New exhibit! The radio tower here on Timber Earth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite. And this day still houses the first ever photos taken in the entire solar system. These photos are made possible with the deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit. Here is it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the deep space satellite is now responsible for generating real-time solar system map. There was no radio tower on this planet before. And that's the clue! And away! Oh! I, I saw the quantum moon for just a second! Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, I remember I fell down there, I died. Aha! Fucker! Got it. Huh. There's a chill spot here. Despite my checking in on them at least a thousand times over, the images are still not ready to print over the radio tower. Well, it's like they say, watch satellite never transmits data. Someday I'll have to study the mechanics of how time manages to slow to a syrupy crawl whenever I am anticipating something. In the meantime, I've turned to Gabbro, a resident expert in leisurely whiling away the hours, who recommends the following. Gabbro's three foolproof steps are dozing off. Light an ice cozy campfire. Gaze deeply into the warmth. Let time slip away as you allow flames to lull you in a peaceful slumber. If Gabbro knew I'd taken notes, they'd probably think I'd finally crack. But I refuse to accept sass from an astronaut who deliberately burns their marshmallows. There's dark shit-ass bramble over there. Satellite angle, whatever. Now we got uh, a different satellite angle. There's uh, an even differenter satellite angle. This is a satellite angle with some kind of jerk on it. And we're recording! It's been two days since the launch of the deep space satellite, and I'm about to view the first batch of photos. 
Let the record show that on this historic day, Outer Wilds Ventures has... Ah, they're printing, they're printing, here they come. Stars above, will you look at that? There's Brittle Hollow, and look, there's Hollow's Lantern, and Giant's Deep, and the Quantum Moon. I'm speechless. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system, looking stunning from every angle, and in color, no less. Now, this is art. I could stare at these foes forever. Doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on, what is that? That can't be right. That's not even possible. And I'm interpreting this photo correctly. It's even stranger since it doesn't show up in either of the other photos, just this one. Well, there must have been an equipment malfunction. Only sensible explanation. I'll radio Gabbro and have them examine the satellite's lens. So one of these photos has something that doesn't belong. What the fuck is that? Is that what I'm... There's Ash Twin. There's the Interloper. There's Giant's Deep. There's Hearth. There's Brittle Hollow. There's Giant Nest or whatever. So what the fuck is that? Ah. It's a deep space radio. What the fuck? Oh, that is insanely small. Oh, it's the satellite! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I hit it. Map offline, oh no! Guys, did I break the satellite? There was a recording here? Oh, it's fucking long gone now. Ah, oh, crap. Well, gang, there's only one thing to do. I fucked it. It's the sun! Got it! Gabbro here, checking in on a deep space satellite per ground control's request to check out a possible equipment. See, Hornfells? I do do two work. You know, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. It's peaceful out here, among the distant stars and the soft velvety darkness, but it's awful nice for naps, too. Alright, the lens. Alright, little satellite, let's see what the trouble is. Everything looks say okay, ground control, no dust or scratches, no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. No equipment malfunction. Hear that? You're in great shape. Keep it up the good work out here. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I feel like the timing is such that I would have been able to see it again. Never mind. Oh, that's actually it has mass. It's not a shadow. It's. Okay. All right. Well... All right. Let's just turn you around and get in this loading bay. Looks like we're good. What the f Fuck? <gasps> no! Okay. This looks no my. No wait, it doesn't. It's not no my. Whoa.
All right. Light-based aliens. It's a fucking... It's a miniature Dyson Sphere! Oh... I get it. Oh... Uh, this is pretty advanced. Guess I'm not gonna need my fucking ship in here. This looks so... natural. And I, I, I just mean like... Uh, mundane, I guess. Yeah, it's a little baby halo. I now have a slide reel. Now. Aha! Wow. I'm a little overwhelmed. I'll be quite, quite honest. Well, I'll be damned. That's what they look alike. They were owl dudes. How do I turn this fucking thing off? Oh, wait, what? Oh, all right, slide wheel. I mean, that's, that's better than literally nothing. It's ironically enough too dark. Or too light. Mm, fine, we'll look around town. <sighs> Oops. Oh, shit. I'm a little lost. Alright, well. Not getting back any of that. Fucking shit. I can't see the sun from in here. I have no idea how much time I actually have left. Uh huh, yeah, my ship log got updated, huh? Where's my raft? Oh, it's gone. Oh, there's the sun. Well. You sure that's a reflection? Yeah, it's totally a reflection. Goddamn. Oh, there's the sun. Red and angry. Alright. Alright, well this is not a way forward. Hello. There we are. That's the answer. Ah, the sun's red and angry, but doesn't seem that bad. Oh, it's gonna be fine, guys. It's gonna be fine. Now, finding something that could help me translate this would be pretty good. What the fuck is this? Oh, that's... Alright. Uh...
There it is. Oh, was a little worried there for a second. Nice detail. You can actually see the probe. Off to the stranger. 8.8 kilometers. It was here the whole time. Fuck! The moon hit me! Whoa. What? Why does it look more bright this time? I'm on the sunward side. Oh. Not even a problem. Yeah, that's about right. This isn't how it was. Why are events persisting? Different airlock? I came in on a different entrance. Head empty? It's possible. All right. This makes me feel big smart. No, the raft is gone! So what I really need is a lantar. There's a lot of red herringness going on. <sighs> that is unfortunately a broken lantar. Yep, full nothing. Get out of here, broken lantar. Don't care for you. This is definitely this is the opposite of the base game's type of challenge. Yeah. You know, learning that language, finding any kind of Rosetta Stone, even from like, no my to this. Aha! Chilling. Fishing. Thinking about stuff. Seeing a planet. Taking a raft. I don't know if I'm gonna make it there. Let's learn about shit. What the fuck does this mean? There's the eye. There's the eye. The eye get big. Very big eye different solar system. Okay. The eye blasted their shit. Gave them eyeball juice. Told them about the eyeball. And they were like, Whoa! It's crazy! Look at this shit! Oh, we'll get over there! And then they built this fucking thing. And they came over here. Well, that's nuts! Okay. What is this? Some kind of field? Broken, broken, broken. This, this fucking thing. Energy juice. Okay, they walk up to the machine and it's lit and they, they put, and then they lock it. What the fuck? Yeah, Dan's Dan's looking fucky. Ghost matter. Here. Okay. I see. And up there too. 
Okay. Got a little close there. Yeah. Okay. There. Okay, it's this side of the room is dangerous. Got it. What do we got? Artifacts! What the fuck is this? Oh boy! Oh, this is gonna get me. Yep. Oof. Okay. Almost! No. I don't think this is the correct way to do this. Oh! Rafts just naturally flow downstream. I know. Fuck. Well. Shit. Can I get in here? Fuck. Oh, I found more of this shit. Hey, buddy. I love him. All right, sit. I just said sit. Sit. High five. Lie down. Lie down. No, lie all the way down. All down. Speak. 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 I guess that counts? That's the shittiest bark I ever heard. Oh, oh! Focus and conceal. Hey, more of these fucking things. Yeah, oxygen sucks ass. It's a big old fucking thing of the eye. This looks like some kind of churchy church. What the? Yo! That is poggers. All right. What the? Oh, give me a fucking break! Is that? Looks like it's power sources to various locations. Oh, yeah, it has sta- What the- What the fuck? It has stair. Oh, no! Wait, why is this so high? Oh, I'm, I'm looking up. I'm looking up. Because I picked up a lot of ship's log things. And I don't know if I can build a, a house with them. That was pretty cringe. Go to hell. Aurora, let's fucking go. To the Stranger. Which is a really funny name for this thing. Because that's when you sit on your hand and then jerk yourself off. Let's go. Wait. Uh. Oh, uh, shit. Well, too late. Oh, no! Oh, God. <laughs> All right, we're back and that was like fast. This is me. I was basically just practicing how to speed run it earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thread the needle.
Oh, that's what that does. Oh, no. Hear this lantern. Thank you. All right. They were looking at the eye, right? And they were like, fucking wow. And then they'd shine a magic on it. And they were like, oh, it's red. And it's gonna kill everybody. Oh, no! And he's like, oh, shit. And they're like, fuck. And they're like, okay. Oh, fuck, Bert. Oh, I don't like the eye anymore. And then they showed up. And they put themselves here, and they're like, cool, cool place to be. Okay, light the fire at the top, and then put a light. And then that puts a, a seal. Okay, so there's three seals on this thing. And you need to light it and shine it at three different locations is what I'm getting yeah they were fucking pissed at this place they burned this motherfucker the fuck ass down they were like I hate you eyeball you're a jerk shoot a scout at the dam I mean, that's not gonna hit the dam. That's not even fucking close. What the fuck was that? Did you hear? It sounds like something just kicked on. Fucking thing. What is this? Whoa, what is this? It's a path under ground. Oh, that's about to go. I think that's it right there. Yeah, that would be it. All right. Uh, this is what I was trying to figure out earlier. Okay, we got, it points at their planet, has a sli <laughs> fancy slide reel, that looks like it might actually have their language on it. Okay. So does that mean it points Vault. Is that underwater? Nice house. This tower. Wall vault. Looks. Whatever it is, it's underwater. It looks like a bell. And. It is powering this shit. Alright. Symbol. Look up at the symbol. Go in at the go into the place. Look look around at the stuff. Look at the one that has our planet in the thing. Then take that lamp. And go through?
Sure enough. Okay. They've got all... Oh. They came down here on purpose. Some of... Wait, what? They're all still lit. Except for... Except for one. That's why I need the artifact. So there you all have it open. Turn off the flashlight. Huh. Looks like I don't have the information I need. Bummer. Now, unlike the other places, this area will have its water area decrease. Oh! I didn't recognize this place with all the water in it. This is still quite the doozy. Oh, this is the final thing. This is when all four pieces have been done. Hello. Star. Sideways fire, sideways fire. Star. Sideways thing. Fire. Sideways thing. Fire. Oh, it opens. This is busted. Oh, that's how you get in here. What am I looking at? Oh, there she goes. This looks like the control room for I don't know what I'm looking at here. Something's broken. Oh. That's broken. And there's the bell! I see! Gotta do it the old-fashioned way, with my moxie. Oh shit. That was my moxie. What the fuck is that? That's the probe? Never mind. Eh. Nailed it. Another happy landing. Ah! Oh. Fuck. I'm drowning. Oh! Look up. Yeah, I There's two. Hello. Left area. You look new. This whole zone looks like it would be relatively unaffected by the dam breaking. But it's large. All right. Aha! 
What do we got down here? It's probably going to be highly similar. And it's pretty much the same thing. This one's full. Interesting. Yeah, the bed in the other one was broken. Like somebody hulked out. Like a fucking badass. What do we got? Of course. Oh shit. Yeah, it's it's the fucking it's the the lamp is going out. Oh, this is another one of the creepy freaky weirdo ones. Yeah, they shine a light and then physically light it and then they seal that motherfucker off. So something badass is going to be in there. This is the third one, so we're going in the right order. And the last one is... Whatever the fuck that symbol is. Oh, the vault! So... They hung out here, and then they went and had a little meeting. And uh, talked about how they missed their home planet. Wow, missing a lot here. And then they all got in their little things and closed their eyes. And the light, the, the, oh, it's supposed to be suspended animation. I know what I have to do. It's supposed to be suspended animation. It's working! I lost my jetpack. Wait, they went... They went back? Uh... Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. We can do all sorts of stupid shit here. This light shit is amazing. Is there still a timer? I don't know. Am I astrally projecting? I don't know. I don't see any of the stars exploding. Yeah, Space Haunted. That's a new one. Alright. Oh, I have to go in there and use that to make a bridge. Got it. the fuck? A hand? Okay. That dude's alive. He's gonna teach me how. Speak their fucking language.
probably asleep. And that, there we go. Perfect. You know, I'm realizing this is a really big wide room. Something I could actually hide in. So it looks like this soul light is the same power as... ...the regular light. I'm sorry. The flow of the river goes in the other direction here. Okay. Good. Okay. How is there still the timer here? Because it doesn't matter. The suns are going off everywhere. So if I am nearby their planet, then... Am I sleeping? It's not clear. Interesting to note that uh, there's only forward. The Bell lo ah! Arr! Man, that is a completely different feeling than the rest of the game. That's so cool. What a what a cool what a what a cool DLC. Before we continue to explore the fucking nightmare universe. Let's finish the Reservoir. Do different dream towers lead to different dream places? That's what I assume. It opens. I didn't realize it until just now. Because I never got a look at it beforehand. But the green slats that open up aren't there at the beginning. Let's check the, the most most inaccessible part of the reservoir. That's not what I thought it was gonna do. Whew! Did you not see that? Oh, I saw the 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 little dot thing and I saw it like as two eyes. And it was nothing. Alright. Ooh. Chill ass viewing area at the top of the fucking thing. Cool. Well, I have this to look at first. Aw, oh, man! Hello. Another one of your diagnostic areas. At a certain part in its apogee, it's going to extend the slats. Wow, that timing's pretty... exact. There could be the eye signal, that's true, yeah. Supernova range? Supernova ranges are absurd. So I don't think that's what it is. Also, this is not where I thought this was going to put me. Uh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh! That is a wild shortcut. It's a bummer, because if we were able to get the... <gasps> the 
Good to know. Ugh. Do not go down here, bro. Very annoying. Don't come down here. This sign won't stop me because I can't read. Well, there goes that fucking thing. Oh, that place gets fucking ruined. Okay. That could have been worse. I knew it! It's here! Nailed it. The tower's gonna go down any second. Who cares? Nailed it. Alright. So the real big question would be whether or not lit candles maintain between the dream worlds right because that would be wild that'd be some kind of perceptive didgeridoo fuck this area looks huge That is 100% a dream world. One million percent dream. But the candles are still lit. Oh, goody. Okay. 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 Aha! You can only get in here when the quote unquote tide is high. Got a lantern. Okay. Oh, that just tells me that... That there's a thing inside the thing. I already discovered that. Huh, the power system for the bell is damaged. Irreparably. It's supposed to be able to be pulled up. Ah, fuck. I can't believe I've done this. Oh, because of the water being in the reservoir, there's no flow here. Or at least very little flow. I'd really like to be able to speak your shitty language. Is that it? Fuck yeah. Got it. 
this one's about the bell. Informative. They built the belt around the seal. Well, they really didn't want any of that getting out. Oh, we are getting farther away. Well, let's see if those candles are still... Oh. Let's see if those candles are still lit, because that would be nuts. They are not. That doesn't make any sense. Whole building. Entire building. Yeah, there's weird shit out here. Why is this one rotating? Okay. The sun. Instead of the planet. Huh. Up here I can tell that I'm not on a ring. I'm on a planetoid. Alright. Those three symbols, they don't mean... They mean the way to unlock them is in this place. Each of these locations has a seal of some kind to unlock one of the chains. Hello. An empty bell room. So whatever's in there, in the real world, is out here. Okay. Took it? They transported a physical object into the dream world? I think it's the opposite. I think they... I think they transported a dream object into the real world. Yeah, there is a staircase in there. You can... Can't get in there. All right, so this is the real world, and they went to this, and then they looked inside, and this is them going to sleep to transport into the real world. As far as I can tell, they sealed something up real bad in the real world and then felt the, ne the need to dump it somewhere in the dream world. Ah, it's go time.
They went to all this trouble to lock something up. Why are we trying to unlock it? Because it's cool? Even if it's a nightmarish catastrophe and I unlock it, it'll still only be a nightmarish catastrophe for like a maximum of 10 minutes. I never went here. I never went here once. This is the fastest way for sure. Oh. This is new. This does not... connect to the others. Take a left, and we get... That's how you open them. You extinguish the door. Raft. This fucking goes, dude. Hello. That's weird. All right. Ow. Aha. Bridge. Okay. Well, I'll be. Oh, they're all over the place. I'm fucking lost. I'm actually really, really lost. Like that. This is um, crazy difficult to navigate. I'm kind of astonished at how much trouble I'm having keeping this in my head. In that I can't keep it in my head. Like at all. Yeah, they don't want us to be here. Maybe it's a little easier to navigate if, uh, I use this thing. So what happens if we go past the bell? Even the water in the ring world loops, but how? Um, that's, uh, centrifugal force. I think I'm about to get hit by water. Can't get to the Starlet Cove from here. Let's try the bell. Yeah, once the water breaks, like it's almost like it's hitting a turbine because all of a sudden those become electrified.
Sure enough. Hello. This is gonna go pretty far fucking down. Oh, come on. Three codes. There's the real deal. Hello. Okay. They go to the... Okay. They go here. Right, I was here. In the vision, there was a slide. All right, so go through the secret passage. Look at that thing. Leave. Now when the lights go out... I know how to do it. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here immediately. The lights will turn out when it fucking breaks. Lights didn't go out. I'm having a big brain tough time. So it looks like what he's saying is that he's gonna go to the subterranean version of that place. Sorry, the, the light version. Alright, I need to start going through and actually finishing off those dark worlds. Yeah, I think he went to the dream version. It's it this building's my favorite so far. Or like, oh man. Fucking thing sucks. There we go. Got to figure out this one. And that is where the raft goes. Hello. Get the banana? Oh. Potassium. Good ol'. Got it. <gasps> no! It's a shame those big dudes aren't friendly because they're kinda hot. Come on, dude! Come on, stop it. Right, this is a teleport back to this spot, spot. 
Which is good to see that it also has a teleport spot. That. Aha! Oh! Fascinating. Okay, so this is a lot more straightforward than I thought it was. So it looks like those bing bongs are a defense mechanism against people that are not supposed to have it. I thought for sure <gasps> you were near a light. I see. Can I put the artifact down? Yeah, I can. Weird. Okay, it is in fact being in light. That does it. Problem being, those lights. Yeah, and when. <sighs> I'm missing something! Yeah, time to try somewhere else. I never explored the. Oh! Okay, I can still use this place. Never fully explored this place. I explored the real version. But I didn't explore fully the dream version. No, I didn't? I mean, it says I did. So, whatever. This whole area is a massive thing to get the... It's a massive ordeal to get across that bridge. And I did all that so that I could get to the fucking raft. Fuck. How do I turn this off? There's that over there. God, it feels like there should be a way to turn some of these fucking things off or go through these doors. But I feel totally bananas. I'm going to meditate and check my ship log again. Can't go wrong with that. I'd like to I'd like to figure out one more thing before I call it for a night. I, I feel like I'm I'm really stuck here. Hidden Gorge real world, sure enough. Well, I mean I haven't gone through the tree mural building, but I guess it means fully explored for now. Going down rafting in this fucking owl nightmare. All of these dudes are fucking freaks. And they can live fucking thousands of years after death in some kind of dream nightmare. Yeah, this is fairly Lovecraftian. It's interesting because the original game didn't really go for Lovecraftian, except for the uh, Eye of the Universe just being a fucking unknowable fucking thing. But, uh,. I never got close to people singing in the uh, other hidden area, yeah. That would have been an elevator. And that is busted. 
Oh, there's no way up from here. Okay. God damn it, I wish I could read that shit. Oh, did you get addicted to crack? Oh. Yeah, I did, Luigi. Hello, darling. I'm exploring a space nightmare, and boy is it a fuck. Yes. But I'm f oh, man! Fuck! Oh, that wasn't so bad. Hey! I got to this thing. I did it. Take that, you owl pussies. Hey, it's another one of their churchies. And a chain. Fuck! I don't know the combination of this fucking thing. Oh yeah, that's totally what that is. Alright, well we solved that fucking mystery. Right, so that's where I went. And then... This is not a place that I went. It's a one-way door. Again. Motherfucker. Do you think you're funny with these fucking one-way doors? Hello. You do, don't you? Still the one-way door? Are you serious? Fuck yeah, I'm a genius. I'm an absolute fucking genius. That looks like it has information I could use. I don't know what that shit is, but it looks like how to turn something off. Oh man, I'm a fucking big smart out here. The purpose of a puzzle game is not to have, like, character people, f like, do smart things to make them feel smart. Exclusively. And the puzzles are like a, like a fucking side effect of that cause. This is the outside of the machine? What does this fucking mean? Something broke near the entrance. Hey, what's up with that big bottle anyway? Why you need such a big bottle? You should show everyone how big your bottle is. It's fucking big. It's for big water. They can. That's a big fucking water. Here's my tiny baby hand next to it. You want to put my baby hand? This is my baby hand. That's one gallon. 
did not accomplish my goal today. You know, if you want to become like a true blue alcoholic, you can be like at the kids' soccer game and that'd be vodka. You'd probably fucking die. Grub, no. You can, uh, it has an infuser that you attach to it. You can add fruit or tea if you want. Or booze. I guess you could add booze. Yeah. Uh, you know, at, at a certain point in my life, being like 10 plus years ago, that's literally what I would have thought of when I looked at that thing. Like, haha, we could use it to get drunk. And then. There are more creative. Yes, ways I know. To sneak alcohol into places where you're not I, supposed to have I alcohol. know you're the butt chugging expert, dear. With the silicon balloon and whatnot. You feeling alright? Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Purses. There's purses. You can pour, like, bottles into the lining, and then you can just suck it out of the lining of the purse. Yeah, shit's fucked. All right, we got to try and find that hull breach. The floor is the light post, not the circle. That's an important detail. Yes. Thank you for that pro tip about... Oh, man. This makes me feel like a genius! Look at this fucking hole in the side of the ship! Interesting. Give me the give me the knowledge. Okay. Sat in here. Oh, I'm asleep. Oh, I'm asleep. Woke up. Right. Oh my god, this is one of the first ones. This, this is early. This is how you're supposed to learn. That did not go as well. Okay, well that's weird. So, uh, they were doing these tests, uh, and, uh, the guy doing this test, uh, exploded so hard that they fucking blew a- Wait a second, does that mean every one of these spokes is a guy in this state? That is a code. No, it's- They're different tests. This is the flame, this is the artifact, and this is the artifact's projection. They're different lantern tests. Alright. Where the fuck is this? S something real weird about having a lab made out of, like, hardwood. Wait, what?! It just brings me... Here? Yeah, these Dark Souls style shortcuts are confusing. Well... I can literally see one of these burnt out in my hand. Maybe it'll teach me something about the goddamn... 
fucking thing that'll help me turn those lanterns off. Oop. Yeah, this area should be depressurized. I'm kind of wilded out that it's like right there though. That's that's crazy. It looks like there might be a shortcut to every single one of the areas. Oh, there she go. Turn it on. It's interesting they didn't use any like any of the quantum mechanics here. All the all the shit here is uh what do you call it? Self-contained entirely. You don't know that yet? I mean, that's fair. Who needs quantum stuff when you need the shadow world? I mean, who's to say the shadow world isn't quantum? Lantern. Right. Nothing. Lantern. This would have blown this guy up. Lantern with this. Lights. Comes back out alive. God damn it, I didn't learn anything! I learned a fucking thing! I learned how they tested it! I don't know why I thought I was gonna be able to beat it in one- in one sitting. Cause I didn't. Let's go to space. Let's fucking hit it. I don't remember which one Starlit Cove actually is. I, I don't remember for shit. It's the tower one? Thanks, gang. I got an achievement for that! Uh, nailed it. Oopsie. Go, Rat. Oh no! I did it. Wait, this is the area that I have yet to fully explore? I have not explored any of the dark areas fully. That is true. Hey, it's the daytime. No way. No way! Only one way to find out! Hey! I feel so smart if this works. I'm gonna feel so smart. Fuck, I'm a genius! So the way to turn off lights in one area is to kill them in the other. This tells me many things. Okay. What the? <sighs> it's broken. 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 Oh, that's the code I already knew. I don't recognize this symbol. Wait, I do recognize this symbol. This is the room the uh, opposite the bridge. Yeah. I'm so fucking smart, dude. This game is the best. I saw um people talking about this and I got to say one of the most astonishing things about the Outer Wilds DLC Echoes of the Eye which we are currently playing is that it's not a DLC. It's a sequel that they just put inside the Outer Wilds. There she is. 
There we are, motherfucker! is this? Fuck. Okay, it's above- there's a square above the little dam. And then here- this is the weirdest one. This is after it's flooded. To the left of the chamber that I went in the beginning, there's that. And then over here, there's, it's just in this little off, off room. Okay, those things. The bell. They put the bell down. They're like sick. Then they took all the, the, those with them. And they put them in this machine. And then they burnt them out on purpose. Wow, they didn't want uh, anybody finding out what they had gotten up to, huh? It's that room. Did it! Nailed it! Excellent. No. Fuck! Alright, new plan. It was a good plan. Whoa! I do, I do want to say that the only thing I dislike about, uh, this DLC at all, at all, is in the base game, uh, it was much easier to go back to your ship and check the log. Oh, they, god damn it, they put it on the map. Oh, they put it on the map. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you, you put it on the map. Oh. Wait, why is it only 137 meters away from me? Oh, are they marking the projection room? Ugh. I'm gonna have to do it with my brain. I hate that. Fucking got it! Wait. Aha! Think you're tricking me with that shit? Yeah, it's always a fascinating idea to me when you look at like alien civilizations and in a game like this, and you're like the, the just the idea of completely divergent technological advancement is incredible. Just like depending on the materials and the elements possible and the ideas of the populace, you know, maybe you never made a goddamn flashlight. Uh-huh. Right. I remember this spot. And I remember that, too. Get the fuck out of here! Ah! 
The temple was right there. Yeah, what about it? I'm going to get all three of the secrets, you dumbasses. So that they're in my brain. 100%? Oh, it's the sale that causes it to... Oh, big smart brain. Because it uses more of the juice. Oh, I can just go through it. I didn't realize I could just go through it. I'm a genius. Okay. Wait, can I just... Oh, I can just fly up there. Owned. Yeah, I know I have like one minute. I can feel it, dude. I can feel it. I have an intuitive sense of these things because I'm a genius. Got it. So this is in... Okay, down at the bridge. There's a guy there. And I give him that thing. And he goes into the wilderness and I watch him go. Then I see them all go into the side of that building, and there's a fire, and they just walk right through the fucking fire! Oh, it looks like this place always has water. Oh man, I really extra don't have time for this one. Right, ship log updated, where's the fucking thing? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Got it. Excellent. Got it. Good. Great. Great. Give me that. You motherfucker. Okay, that works too. How much time do I got? Not a lot. No! Oh, this thing's gonna go in like a second, dude. And... BAM! What's the third secret? Looking at the... that... looking at the... okay. Looking at that. Go behind. And then there's a raft that goes... Behind. And then these guys came out. And I gave them that thing. And... Oh! And you do that, and that whole area goes away. Secret hand! My ability to go to the dream world is pretty limited right now. So I'm gonna just die. I learned so much. I learned so much and I'm so smart. I have learned three secrets. That endless canyon one is the sneakiest. Secret fireplace. Oh, that's so dirty. Remember the artifact? Shit! And I only wasted a full minute of time. Like, I want to at least piss and shit my pants first. Before I turn on the, the not spooky mode. Sleepy time! A roar. Oh, which one is this? Is this the fireplace? No, this is the hidden. This is the hidden. Uh, the the hidden hidden hand, the secret hand. Huh. I never took this bat down. I don't think. I think the hand always fucked with me. God damn it, I- Oh, I did come down here once. I did, I did. Fuck. But this one doesn't have any fancy lights. Which means I can just... 
Fuck yeah. Aha! Ah, fuck. I can't believe I've done this. Is it... Aha! <gasps> oh. <gasps> Guess what, fuckers? I can just go back to sleep. At the, at my whim, these owl mans have created an anxiety in me. I'm not that anxious, but I'm a little anxious. <laughs> Aha! This is the area. It's run, not hide, but then how am I supposed to... Probably should map out the area in my mind first. Yeah, I suppose so. But, uh, I don't have a good... I mean, yeah, this is a dead end right here. Wait a second. It's... N oh, I am a genius. Wait, was that just... Wait, did I just go in a fucking circle? Shit. Nailed it! It's still there! Oh, but the lights are off. Oh, come on, let me get the secret before this thing falls over. I know it's gonna fall over any second. It's kind of a... Ah! Yeah, I can see why uh, people would complain, because this is very different from the rest of the Outer Wilds gameplay, as there's no enemies in Outer Wilds gameplay. Except the anglerfish. Those are a little different. Navigating them in your ship is a considerable change from navigating them. I do think it's incredibly cool how, despite the fact that they are all corpses, they maintained in here. Wait a second. How come I wake up the instant my lungs fill with fluid, but they've made it all the way to being corpses? Your fire goes out, theirs didn't. Oh! Doesn't that mean they all die as soon as their lights go out? Ah, oh, somebody pointed out that the horrible screaming you hear in the dream world sometimes is their lights going out. Fascinating. Because they're dead. Oh shit. Is that a spoiler? I don't know, I feel like you could intuit that. If only there was a way to put their shit underwater. Yeah, why don't I just blow out all the lights on the corpses? I don't know, man. Why don't I- well, yeah, but here's the thing. I could murder them and there'd be no problem, because I know it's just gonna loop. Right? You can kill people for- hey, listen, if you're in a time loop, you can kill people and it's not a problem. It's not even wrong. It's not even bad to do. They love it. I don't know about that. 
Extinguish. Wrong way. There we go. Oh, come on! Yeah, how come they're not emitting any light? I feel like I'm doing something incorrect. Like if there's a way to inch forward and... Okay, there we go. <laughs> now here's the question. How do I... So this... This is the reason... Okay. That's how I'm supposed to do it. I'm supposed to do it by... Seeing them really far away. Well, shit. I'm just about done with that. They're not scaring me when I can see them like that. It's just like I'm annoyed. You cannot outrun them. You cannot. I tried. We tested it. Like, I'm just tired and I want to fucking get my, my mystery on. Oh, this is way better. This is way better. I'm having much more fun now. And all I had to do was let go of my penis. Well, not that way. Oh, there are multiple down here. No wonder I was having such a hard time. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now what am I gonna find? Oh, I just teleported. Did you see that little skip? Oh! Interesting. That's where they keep all their dream records. Insert artifact. Okay. Oh, shit! How do I know which... Oh, these are all the non-burned versions. Okay. Big guy, little guy. Get woken up. Goes to their brain? Teleports them back. Oh no, that guy died. Oh, brain dead. Stuck. I see. All right. Eye of the universe. They saw it. They saw it blow up and kill everything and them die and then the new thing and they were like, whoa, this sucks. And then they were mad and then they burned it. And they built the... What the fuck is that? To encapsulate? The... That's what that thing does?
that means the... That means that the ship you go to at the end of the game isn't the eye. It's their ship. Okay. They're not big fans of the eyeball, that's for sure. Brain and this. Okay. You can walk in. Brain signal. Brain signal leave. Go into that. Transport there. Old person. Old person dead. Oh! It's a method of eternal life! I still need... Fuck! It's ruined down here too? I got trolled. Let's die. Sorry guys, about the, uh, the, the misunderstanding. They blocked the eye signal. I, I misunderstood that because it's been a while since I... It's been a while since I remember anything about the Nomai. Ship's log. God! More! You never explored where the raft goes. You're right. You're right. Off to the raft. I would like legitimately recommend turning the the frights to a smaller were because um, the dodging the owl man's is not fun. It's 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 just straight up not enjoyable at all. I'm really glad they put the baby mode in. This place is burnt. Is this the Temple of the Eye? It is. Is is this it? Is this all that's here? Into the water we go. Why the fuck am I here? What am I doing? I need to get over there. Ah, oh, god damn it! This is definitely my favorite of the secrets. Is just secret magic walk. Okay, wait. It was look at that and then go. There it is. Fuck. Nailed it. Oh, they mad. Wait. This is open now? All the doors are open? Interesting. Hey, man. Now that's why these areas were so big. Gotta go up. That's the wrong way. Oh no, the doors being open makes it more difficult to navigate! They trolled me! Ugh! Got caught on baby mode, it's true. Pat confirmed weaker than a baby? Is that true? Fucking so lost right now. Ah, shit. Got it! Blow me out, Captain. Oh, yeah, big secret. Fuck! 
damn it. Ah! Oh, I went through the wrong door right away. Oh. Oh, shit. I... I don't... Oh, I was on the air, then I walked back. Oh. Nailed it, yay. Oh, shit, it's another archive room. Fuck, do I have time for this? Go. Alright, so they're here. And they all had a meeting. And the meeting was about their home planet. And how sad they are that they can't go back to their home planet. So they did... A digital facsimile of their home planet. So it's not spiritual. It's... It's digital. Okay. Wait, the... L the lantern? Is what it's centered on? How far... Can I get away from it? In here too. Yeah, it is in fact broken here as well. What happens? You don't even have to get far away from it. Oh. Mm. I think this might be the best mechanical twist in a game ever. Ever. Because finding out that there is the dream world is not out, it's not completely out of the ordinary, but the method of going in is a little, you know, it's a little uh, hard to uh, understand. Like, oh, you go to sleep. Ha. And you're like, ooh, good twist. Right? But the understanding of there being an underneath double dream world. They really don't want me to learn those codes. Wow. Wow. That is such an incredible fucking goddamn mechanic, and I can tell no one about it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Well, it's a lot easier to see in this spot. 
now that I can fucking see, can I walk in the water? No. And I can just hop over. What the? Wait, can I just actually just easily shortcut over here? Fucking sick. Hello. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Maybe up here? Shit! What are you guys gonna do? Wait, what? Oh, fuck off. Why, they really actually literally want you to follow the owls. <sighs> what the? Oh, god damn it. And it is kind of perfect timing. Got there right back to where I was. I'm shocked that the debug mode didn't show me this underwater. Underwater, I mean, you know. Whoa. <sighs> Alright. Oh, come on. I don't think I have to fall right behind, but he is my only light source. I guess I gotta follow him. Yeah, that didn't work for shit. God damn it. Wish I could blow this fucking thing off. This did not help me at all. Come on, Pat. Use your brain. It'd be nice if I could extinguish that whole thing, but I haven't found a... spot. Well. Time's up. Oh. Time's up! That's it!
Oh, that's smart. Oh, that's real smart. Exactly where I want to go. And it's not there. Oops. I feel like I am two pieces of information away. Man, my character is like the smartest person in the universe, dude. God damn. Then that's the wrong yeah, that's uh nailed it. Right. get these stupid assholes. Really? That's it? It's just right there? Okay, I guess we did it. This is really similar to the final puzzle in uh, what do you call it? Ash Twin. Because it has a very specific timing. Like, you need to do a difficult task and then you need to grab the item and very specifically go. It is more lenient. This is such a weird game because you want to talk to people as you're doing it, but once it's done, you don't have anything to say other than that part was cool. This is a good fucking shortcut. No! Where is it? Fuck. Okay, there we go. That not being real is just excellent. Alright, that's gotta be the hardest. That's gotta be the hardest puzzle in the whole DLC. That, that was difficult. Wait, it's down here? I, w I got down here earlier from a different way. The their own planet. They got, right, they got the eye. They're like, wow, what the fuck is that? And they're like, whoa, that's crazy. Wow, the eye, look at this shit. It's bananas. Oh no. No wonder they were so furious. Oh, that's terrible. Another? It's a loading screen. It's a loading screen. That's the secret. And again, destroyed here. That's it. That's it. That's the secret. It shows one of the strangers inhabitants jumping off a raft during a transition between areas and falling below the world. On a slide reel that shows that an alarm bell fails to wake up one of the strangers inhabitants. Found a slide reel that shows an error report. Shows one of the stranger's inhabitants dropping their artifact and walking beyond its projection. This must have been a fucking nightmare to test. 
this must have been the absolute most frustrating. What an absolute stellar mystery, assuming I have it figured out. Right. Got it! Ah, shit. Not quite. I don't know why I thought I had to ditch the lantern because of the code thing. That was just an assumption on my part. So as long as I clear that, those two dots, sorry, these two lamps, I'm good, right? Let's find out. Yep, all I gotta do is clear the two lamps. Hello. I don't need the codes. I can come through the back and cheat. Wait, what? How do I get to... How do I get to this one? I learned about falling out of worlds. I learned about that. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to do that. Oh my god. <sighs> Just cheat. Okay. Invisible code, right? <sighs> Got it. Oh, they they were even labeled correctly. It was an alarm that failed to wake up the subject, but why? I can't... Oh, fuck, I can't remember what it looked like. Because he was dead. Yeah, he was dead. How the fuck do... Dead people can't be disconnected? But how do I kill myself without waking up? Or when the old bird died before they could use the lantern. People who die are connected automatically. What? I needed it in my hand. Okay, see, here's a fun thing. If I had not been with you guys, I would have maybe gotten that far, and I would have put it down, and then I would never have solved it. Because I would be like, I don't understand, I died. What? Why would it not, the lantern was right there. Somebody in the chat mentioned that one of the best things about this game is that because you are in a time loop, the game has to be completable within essentially like 18 minutes. It totally worked. Now, if they were to blow out this candle, I would fucking die. Yes. Yeah, this is the final. This is the final run. This is the. This is the absolutely the final run from Ash Twin. Am I going to play head-on? I don't even know what the fuck head-on is. Do you mean head-on this dick? Ah, I beat you! I beat you, two bitches in a coat! Oh, there's even a texture wall. That's genius. Gotcha. 
And that is such a good puzzle solution. What, what horror awaits us in a vault? If I had to guess, it's a single living owl man. Can't wake me up, I'm fucking dead. <sighs> Did it. I can't be stopped. I've solved your dream shit. Tell me the secret! It's a fucking door, isn't it? Of course it is. Of course it's a door. Yeah, there's their planet in the distance. He's the one who discovered it. It's his fault. Who are you? Will this work? It's the ultimate slide! <laughs> he turned off the machine for the eye. They turned it back on. That's the moment the Nomai found it. They got this burst of information. To the upper right is the Nomai. And to the upper left was us! what I see. I'm telling about the Nomai!
Ah, the interloper fucked those guys up. And then I showed up! Oh, here's your torch back, dude. He's, he's going upstairs? I'm kind of stuck here. Oh, I can see the upstairs from here. Oh, thanks, man. Controller, why you do this to me now? He's probably dead, yeah. All right. Back to the eye. Which I don't remember how to do. Straight up, don't remember. Wait, there's more to explore in the uh, alignment angle diagram? That's the one. And it's here. Right? It's inside the broken tower. Nailed it. I'm a genius. No? What what hit me? Oh no. I feel like ha the release of this DLC this far afterwards does create a bit of a mechanical issue with trying to remember how to do this. God, I don't remember how to use no my technology at all. <laughs> I don't remember how to use no my technology at all. And got it. Now how the fuck do I get out of here?
put it back and restart? Are you serious? Using the probe fucked it? Wow. Thanks, guy who told me to use the probe. There's something you can do in there to cause a time paradox? Really? You meet yourself? What? How? Jump into the hole during the supernova? Got it. Come on. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. Where's my ship? Oh, that's... Oh, shit. That's fucking crazy. I forgot that they played the final end music. And I cannot see shit in here. Oh my god, no. Oh my... I don't understand. Twin. There you are. This is gonna go around the fucking sun, isn't it? This is gonna kill me, isn't it? God damn it. Abort the autopilot! Oh god damn it! Oh, that's a good lo that's a good time to start. I wish I could see anything. Like, see, I'm not moving! Oh, oh not again. Like, I'm coasting, and I'm, I'm like, not moving at all. Like, at all. Okay, why is it that when I was entering earlier, I couldn't see anything? But this time I enter, I'm able to see all of them. I'm fucking drifting. Oh, God damn it. I'm gonna hit the fucking solar station. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to turn. I f uh, that's not even the right way. I feel like I'm discovering all the different ways this encounter can be not great. I just want to get to see the Owl Man. Can't I do that, please? I think the... I think... The outer, I, I do actually think the outer wild stuff is some of the best stuff I've ever done, but I I would probably put a lot of that on the game. I'm gonna pick it up and hold it up like this because I don't want my leg to accidentally touch one of the triggers. Oh. <sighs> Uh, 
Finally. I did it. If you look around, you can see the signal blocker. Really? That. Sure enough. Wow, there's a detail. Oh, you can see it more clearly here. Oops. I still don't understand what this thing is. Oh man, I forgot all this shit. Okay, that's infinite. Radio tower is built to receive transmissions from our deep space and have some of the last ever photos taken of the entire solar system. One of these photos revealed the existence of an invisible ring world inhabited by a species whose presence in our solar system predated even the Nomai. This species traveled from a nearby system in search of the eye of the universe, but horrified by what they discovered, decided to block the eye signal so no one else would find it. One individual, however, rebelled against the decision and was able to briefly release the eye signal back into space before being caught and imprisoned in solitude for this betrayal. You were a good guy, prisoner man. Oh god, I forgot about that. Hey, Esker. Hey, Rybeck. Hey, Feldspar. Hey, Chert. Hey, Solanum. How am I supposed to know which one the owl one is from these fucking... Everyone's screaming at me, the owl first! Like, how am I supposed to know from the sound which was the owl? Is that really a theremin? Wait, what? Oh, I was never able to read their fucking language. Oh. Of course. Oh, yeah. A photo of the Nomai? And the owl dudes chilling? And our dudes. I'm gone. I mean, he died a long time ago. Oh, he's apart from the others. One of my kind found. Oh, I can understand him now. When he found the eye and realized what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was a difficult, tr too difficult a truth. Like a light too bright to look upon directly. It burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness. Obfuscated then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right. Yet I'm, I, I'm still of my kind. And you now know what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Yeah, absolutely. Don't want to repeat my kinds of mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. Oh, yay! 
He's there now. Hadn't dared hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I said free. Here we are. You ready for the final step? Yes. Time to set our spark out into the darkness. buddy. different from what I envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it is to be feared. Learned a lot by the end. Past of the past, but you know, the future's always built on the past, even if I don't get to see it. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning. I think the rules are about to change. I believe we reached the end. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? That's how. I wonder what would have been ha what would have happened had no one been there. No new big dang, big bang. Oh, that's a bummer. I, we did it. Did it again. Was that worth the hour that I spent trying to do it again? Yes. Also, man, the emotional punch of, like, finding out they completely annihilated their fucking planet to find out 
that the thing they were looking at is the end of the universe is like, oh. No wonder they scorched those records. They couldn't bear to look at it. Do you think 2019 deserves to be in consideration for one of the best years in the game solely for this and Disco? Absolutely. 100%. Oh, I remember this. The new type of universe is based off Dyson Spheres. I did it. I did it. 